Hey, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. Hope everybody's doing okay. We are live. So let's jump right into it. Um, I'm going to go somewhat slow for this first attempt, um, and then we're probably going to just skip through the rest because I'm just warning you now, this is not going to work. But um, I'm still trying to figure out how to make it work. So we'll, we'll eventually get there, but <laughs> it's going to be a lot of trial and error. Um, let me, I'm going to skip through this first part real quick and then I'll say hi to everybody just because I want to, if anybody asks what the setup is, I want, I don't want them to have to sit through 10 minutes of chat. So we'll, we'll breeze through this real quick. Uh, mods, there's only, there's only quality of life stuff that's, that's on like a uh, weapon indicator showing XP, um, tool tip stuff. Um, and then there's one auto loot, uh, yeah, auto loot or no, sorry. What's the one? Proximity inventory. So, because there's going to literally be hundreds of zombies in a small area, it's really, really hard to find what you're looking for on a zombie. So, having it proximity inventory is really important. Um, yeah. So, but there's nothing that changes the um, the difficulty. No, this one's definitely not zero to hero. That would be like not only would that not be not be possible, but it wouldn't even be fun to watch. So, um, so we're gonna go custom. I've been trying it out in Rosewood, and um, I've got a couple different options here. I've got regular 16x, which basically only changes. Also, I, I shut off the water and electricity from the beginning. It doesn't even really matter, to be honest, because we can't... There's there's literally no time to do anything anyways. So And there's plenty of water in, in sinks and stuff, so that, that's not really a big deal. Um, Zombie options. So population multiplier, start, and peak multiplier. If you do four times all of these, it basically increases the zombie population up to where there's like 1.6 million zombies on the map or something like that. It's an insane amount. Uh, peak day starting from day one, and we turn respawn off. So basically, it starts with a ton, but once you clear them, they don't come back. So uh, the other option is no migration. And all I did there was turn off the basically the them migrating because it's really annoying when you clear an entire town and then they just start streaming in from all other parts of the map and it basically just thins the herd out. I'd rather keep them really nice and tightly packed. So I, I'll probably do this on no migration. It doesn't really make that much of a difference in the small uh, day to day battles, but over the course of like a month or two, um, it's it's a lot it's a lot more fun I would say. So. So that's really it. Everything else is the same. I, I haven't really touched anything else. I'll just kind of quickly go through just so people don't think it's uh, making it easier. Oh, also, I kept helicopters on constantly instead of just once. So that'll be fun to deal with. Um, but yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. So so we'll run with that. We'll try uh, no zombie migration. Like I said, it doesn't really make a difference in the early game, but yeah. Uh, no, definitely no respawn. That would be, like, actually impossible. <laughs> so. Uh, here's the uh, the build that I came up with. So this is a 16x no run. There's also a zero to hero when you do 16x, but it's not possible unless you just immediately run out of town. But then it's really boring because all you're doing is you're sitting outside and doing push-ups and sit-ups for like a month or two months straight. And then you very slowly work your way back in. It's it's really, really grindy. Um, definitely a uh, an interesting start, but I, I decided to go with a more interesting challenge where we fight right from day one. So basically we have a ton of a ton of debuffs, but they they're pretty irrelevant. Um the important thing is that we have strength up all the way and fitness up all the way. So we're gonna be able to actually do some combat in the beginning because we're gonna have to fight by hand for I don't know a couple thousand zombies. So anyways there it is and then everybody's favorite video game cheater of the century, Billy um well, I don't want to get sued by him, so we're actually using somebody that's similar, but not actually him. So this is Billy Bitchell. So that's that's who we're going with. I thought we had a striped shirt. Yeah, I couldn't find a uh, suit with a like an American flag on it, unfortunately, but it's close enough. Uh, this is going to be Rosewood. All right, here, let me let me go back. And we'll, all this is loading. Let's uh, say hi to everybody. So uh, try him, Kate Valgroth. Nam, um, what's up, guys? Mike, Nike, Luca, Moxen. I actually got a lot of people here. I'm kind of surprised for a Zomboid. I don't know. People don't usually watch my Zomboid stuff, so good to see people are showing up. Moxen, Blast, IRG, 
Hey, Griff, what's up, man? Uh, Din, hey, Din. <laughs> Bing Boy. Bing Boy Mitchell, yep. You have my approval. I appreciate it, Kate. Hey, MSF. Osleo. All right, here we go. So, I, I just woke up, like, I don't know, an hour ago, so I need to uh, loosen up. This will probably be a failed run, but I just want everybody to kind of see how difficult this challenge actually is. If you've never seen 16x population before, especially if you're not running, like if you're immediately running out of town, it's actually not that hard. But if you're trying to stay, um, it's it's insane. So all we're trying to do is just grab something, anything we can get our hands on. We're not actually using our weapons to fight, but I've noticed if you don't have anything in your hand when you fight, you don't gain, um, you don't gain maintenance. So we want to have something in our hand while we're pushing zombies around and doing stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll definitely take a hammer. That'll be even better. Gun case. We can't really use a gun right now because that's like the absolute worst thing. It's it's a really bad idea. Um, there's so many zombies around that sneaking around, you'll see this thing. will each tick for sneaking. It's going to go up to like 50 or 60 just because there's so many in this tight area. Uh, you know what? Let's probably rip some things real quick. You know what? Uh, for this first one, I what I've found to be the best is to run towards the either the police station or the the uh, fire department. For this first one, I'm gonna show you guys why I like to do that. Uh, I'll stay here as long as I can, but it's probably not gonna go too well. Is this guy Batanian? Yeah, pretty much. He's like a Fian champion. <laughs> This is a uh, fee and champion and, and IRL. Uh, we gonna so we want to open everything up because we don't want to have to. We won't have time to clear the glass when they're broken. There's there's literally no time to stop. You have to keep moving the entire time. So, what I'd like to do is just go around opening everything possible. If they're fixed glass, I will bust them out and then clear the glass out because we need to have places where we can have the zombies trip over to try and get to us. All right, so here we go. Now we're starting. Now, just one guy by himself, not a big deal. We're just going to be stomping everybody all game. That's basically the only way you can do this. You have to fence fight. And if you if you played zombie, uh, Zomboid for any amount of time, you'll know how dangerous fence fighting is. It's really easy to get tripped up and get killed. So, what we'll do is let's try and clear out the back. Um, also notice we do have extreme panic and the reason we have extreme panic is because we have agoraphobia So we're scared to be outside most of our combat is going to be either inside or we're going to be using our feet to stomp people Which it, I don't think it really affects your I don't think it affects your damage Because it seems like your stomp is either an instant kill. Oh, come on dude that's one thing about Zomboid is you got to worry about the the combat's really jank. It reminds me of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Like it's it's a really good combat system, but it's really janky at times. So finish him off. So I'll I'll kind of explain some things as they're happening. I don't want to get ahead of myself and and explain it uh, before it happens. But there's some real jank that goes on in this game, man. How can, hey, Cora, how can you name your get your channel, Strat Gaming Guide? So I, I try to put all the guide stuff on this channel. Um, I, I Yeah, what, if the other channel, the, the main channel, gets more popular, I'll probably stream off of that one instead. But um, yeah, I wanted to separate the Let's Plays, the guides, and then any of the heavily edited videos. So. All right, yeah, this, this looks pretty easy, right? It's pretty tame so far. But... Um, As long as you have working boots. Yeah, we actually start with... Oh, crap. I forgot to switch it. So I, I like to pick Fireman because he gets uh, a decent stat boost. But really important is you get you can start with military boots. And unfortunately, I forgot to swap this guy. So, Oh, Billy. Billy Bitchell already made a mistake. But it's okay. You, you get a bonus to stomping with the uh, military boots, and as you can see, we're, we're going to be stomping a lot of people, so it's it's pretty important. We're going to have to do a, a lot. There's going to be a lot of close calls, and that's that's where the, the challenge itself is doable. Like, if you, if you just don't make any mistakes, it's doable. But the problem is going going through an entire campaign where you have to do this for, like, 50 hours straight, 
it's incredibly hard not to make a single mistake because it's so easy to get bit. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention the challenge is in the description. So basically it's it's uh, max zombies. So this is 16x. Actually, I think it's more than 16x. I think it's I think it's 64x. Because four times four times so four cubed is sixty four, not not sixteen. But I don't know. I I'm not sure how they calculate it. But anyways, it's a a massive amount of zombies, and um, respawn is off. We're not allowed to use fire. We're not allowed to cheese anything. So you can see like there, it's just this and this is light. This is light traffic. There's yeah. There's more over there. You'll you'll see. They'll start coming. We we can't pull too many at once because we can't. If if it's too many, we have to run. We just can't handle it. So, uh, one thing that we'll have to manage very closely is our stamina. Oh, that was bad. Yeah. Definitely don't want to get caught. Um, yeah, fence, fence fighting is really dangerous because they can trip you up, and there's so many that... They can easily stun... Oops. Yeah, see, so there we go. We might get dead here. As I said, this is a warm-up one. I gotta... Oh, that's not gonna work. No, I thought I could sneak one in. Yeah, it's 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 crazy how like you have to be really precise. Yeah, see, so look at that. We're getting tripped up again. Sometimes you can catch them like this where they're just being stupid. All right, now it's down to three. So generally, two by themselves, no problem. Three by themselves is doable without the fence. But uh, see, so there's a fourth. We gotta go, unfortunately. Yeah, if, it, it's gonna be a mix of fence fighting and. Oh, nice, we got it. Right before the other came. So this shouldn't be too bad. The The problem with fighting here is this banister, this handrail, is going to di uh, get destroyed with enough of them going over. Oh, he's going to hit me. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, I missed. That could have been bad. So now there's only two left. We don't have to fence fight. We can just stay here and... We might get bit here. Yep. I shouldn't have pushed that that close. During the towards the beginning of the the playthrough, I don't mind being a little bit more risky, just because it's like whatever I could just restart. But um, yeah, as you get into it, that's when I'll probably start being a little bit of a coward. So pistol's really gonna do nothing for us. Uh, let me. I, it's gonna be really hard to do chat in this one. I'm just telling you right now. But I'm gonna. I'll, I'll pause every once in a while just to make sure I'm not missing any good one. <laughs> Zombie commander, two seventy five medicine perk. Uh, no, no fire allowed. Yep, no fire. Burning is is just too easy. It's just not interesting to watch, in my opinion. And no multi hit. I I don't like multi hit. I I understand. Like I I don't begrudge anybody that uses it. I would never talk trash about anybody that that does it. I I don't think it's challenge. It's I don't think it's very challenging to do it without with multi hit on. I, I really don't. It's it's like really really manageable if you do it. So. I, I, my goal, oh, well, there we go, see, I'm talking too much, so we just got scratched a bit. Is it fatal? Oh, yeah, we're dead. Okay, well, we'll, we'll start. So, like I said, every little mistake gets punished. <laughs> it's gonna ace the challenge, not, not this run, definitely not. Good try, Billy. Um, so, yeah. So, typically, my, jet in the... I don't know how many test runs I've done, but it's probably close to 50 to 100. Um, but I, I've been practicing this for several months because I'm not very good at Zomboid, but I feel like I've gotten way better now that I've tried this challenge. And I usually get about 120 to 150 kills per day from day one and on. So uh, let's go back to the main menu. I'm going to do my original goal. Um, like I said, I just wanted to, to show kind of how, how difficult it is. And that was actually a really bad representation of it because I didn't get very far, and we didn't have that big of a, a board. I just made a, a silly mistake. But, um, yeah, so Rose would start, and again, 16x no migration. We're going to do our 16x no run. And I need to switch my boots this time. So Billy Bitchell needs military boots. There you go. He's got it. So Billy here has a mullet and a full beard, just like, you know, that's just how he is. And then if we can find a proper shirt, like a suit and tie, or somebody that's got that American flag, that's what we're going to go for. So, yeah, don't forget the military boots. That uh, that definitely made a difference. I noticed because some of those stomps were one sh were they were not one tap uh, one taps. So this is actually another spot where we could do it. This private gated community is is decent. So with this challenge, one of the 
the best things you can do is find fences that are indestructible that you can jump over. Um, that is going to make a big difference because you can lose big hordes. You can lure them away and then jump the fence and get back to your base while they're on the other side. They can't they can't destroy it, and they can't uh, they can't jump it. So. Uh, and again, we need to open everything up. It's very quickly before they start uh, gathering up here. We'll just get some of the basic stuff. We're not going to need to read anything. We're just not going to have time. We can do that later. Uh, we'll take an adhesive bandage. And you know what? We should probably, because I didn't do that last time, let's go ahead and remove the curtains. And then we'll rip these things up. Come on in, boys. Uh, and you can't... It's It doesn't let you stomp when they're... When they're too close. Oh, there we go. This one's kind of dangerous because going off of this um, this cabinet is, is actually kind of dangerous. They, sometimes the, you don't actually hit them. Uh, you know what? Sewing kit. We'll take the sewing kit just in case we need it at some point. Uh, also, oh, I forgot to mention, one of the mods that is almost necessary for this is throw stuff out the window. So we can throw zombies out the window in this one. It, it's You're going to get corpse sickness if you don't, like, really, really quickly. What in the world was that? Alright. Uh, one thing, before I forget, so when you go to push a zombie, especially in this challenge when you're going to have a bunch of them around you pretty much the entire game, do not spam the push button. Do not, do not, do not. You have to wait for the animation of the zombie to stop. If you if you put you will you will push you will clip through their uh, body if you push too fast, and then they'll instantly bite you. So that's I've learned that the hard way so many times. Well, I haven't learned it yet. Actually, I'm still making the mistake, but I, I'm trying to learn from that mistake. <laughs> that's what I meant to say. So yeah, make sure when you're when you're pushing a zombie, and you're like being aggressive and pushing into them, make sure you do not push too many times you got to let them reset their animation so it'll actually hit because they're like it's kind of like uh, elden Ring or um, dark souls where they have that um you know the, those few frames where you can't touch them they're like in invulnerable frames i forgot what the, the technical term was but um yeah I, I suck at that game maybe that's the next challenge jesus man i gotta try dark souls but that sounds miserable because i'm terrible at those games all right, here we go. So we got all our windows open. We've got, like I said, we don't need to have a, a good weapon. We just need to have a weapon. So in this case, we've got a fork. But we're gonna get, um, we're gonna get maintenance skill by at least just having it in our hand when we shove people. Oh crap! Yeah, that's too many. So I was gonna try and keep them outside, but we'll. It's fine. We'll do it on the inside. go we don't have a watch so we got to get a watch well we don't need a watch but it'd be nice to have a watch oh somebody came in over here see like right there i was tempted to push him again but it would have clipped through this dude's got a uh i think it's a screwdriver oh crap now, one thing, as soon as you get two zombies on you, make sure you push one down and stand on the body and don't move so they can't get up, and then you're only really fighting a 1v1 at that point. So that helps. Screwdriver, we might need that at some point. Actually, let's put it on our belt. Okay, let's... And again, we're not going to have time to... We're not going to have time to really clear these at some point, and I don't want to get corpse sickness. So you really got to stay on top of cleaning the house. I mean, it's going to be a, a huge bloody mess inside here because blood just shoots everywhere when you stomp them, but the bodies need to be outside at least, so. Uh, anyone know when they'll have NPCs? I know the next big patch, they will not, they're planning on not adding NPCs that patch. Uh, they said the patch after though, so my guess is probably a year to a year and a half from now because it seems like their development cycle is pretty slow. So I would say this the next patch is coming out this year and then maybe a year and a half for the next one so we'll see hey jay i know the masochism seriously it's i don't know why i don't know why, why my brain does this but i i these are the types of things that i enjoy like i was doing a zero to hero challenge and it was just basically just repetitive stuff pretty boring so i, I got kind of bored halfway through like i i got to six months in 
and I had just about everything maxed and I just didn't feel like finishing it because I'd be sitting there for like 30 hours in, in like IRL 30 hours just walking in circles and reloading magazines to finish it and I felt like it wouldn't really help me get better at the game but doing this challenge way, makes me way way better at the game like 100% better like going back to apocalypse mode the default is is like a joke all right billy look at that she copied our outfit how dare you how dare you you know we should give billy a bra yeah i feel like he he needs a bra i don't know how you feel about that but i feel like it's appropriate uh, we could use his leather jacket i i don't want to overheat though yeah, I think in this one, we'll take the risk of, of the injury being more severe. So we're getting pretty lucky here. They're streaming in one by one instead of massive groups. Like, so this group, as soon as they see us, we're going to have to kite and we're going to have to use the fence and all that. Hey, GTA, yeah, Kenshi, I've, I've got um, I've got Kenshi in my library. I played it for like an hour. I, I just, I know that's the game that if once I start it... I'm going to want to play it for like 200 hours straight and, and ignore everything else. So I haven't done it yet, but yeah, I will at some point. Hey, Serge. I appreciate that, man. Uh, what challenge am I doing? Sorry, I missed that. Uh, Gerardo, if you click on the description, it's in there. But basically, I haven't decided the end game yet because I, I basically can't get past the beginning. But basically, we turn the zombies up to max. So it's, um, I don't know, 16x or something like that. There's a lot. Oh, do we have the cheetah print? Oh, yeah, we need to find a cheetah print. That'd be pretty good. Because he's the king of the jungle. Alright, so we want to stand on top of this one. Oh, we're going to miss. Yeah, if we, we need to get an easy... Oh, come on. No, we can't. We're not worth it. Okay, so now they're starting... This is too much. We can't push this. But what we can do is, like I said, we can kite. So we'll bait them into the window instead of the door, hopefully. Once they start getting to be too many, yeah, see, it's too many. We'll kite them back out. Now, that's a problem. Those guys are going to join us if we go out the front, so we're going to have to kite them around the back somehow. Uh, we can go through here. I don't like doing this one. This is, like, the, the worst spot to, to do the kiting on this one. But it's doable. I just don't like it. Yeah, see, look at it. You end up pushing more than you do anything else. Oh boy, so this is this is the part where the challenge gets interesting because there's obviously there's no way I can do this. Like this is too many. I can kite them around a little bit. I'll, I'll do it for the sake of this playthrough. I'll show you how you can kite. But this this type of crowd is probably a bit too much. So what I'd like to do is get them all out of the house so I can jump back in safely. So let's just kite them to the corner. And then we'll go back. And then we'll try and... It's it's too much. Like, we can pick off maybe one. Nah, see, even if we didn't even get one stomp. And they're all just going to do that, so... Um, we can come back out here, kite them out here again. No, we can't, actually. But we can get these two, potentially. Yeah, see, so we can... One at a time is all you get. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you can do. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do to Total War games soon. I've got uh, Warhammer 3 in my library. I, I just bought it recently, so... Uh, yeah, Toby, so going into the woods where they don't spawn is a good idea. The problem is that's not allowed by the rules, because I've seen a lot of other people do the 16x challenge, and they just run away, and then hide for like three months, and they come in slowly, and it's just really boring. To my, In my opinion, it's really boring. It, it is a challenge in other ways, but this one I wanted to, I wanted to make the combat as hard as possible. So what we're going to do, once you get a critical mass like this, you just, you can't do anything. So we're just going to start yelling. We'll gather as many as we can from the area. And we got to be a little careful how we do this. Uh, also, you can bait these guys. Watch. So we'll let them attack. As soon as you as soon as you see, see them lunge, just move in the opposite direction. And you can bait them. So you, you could do most of this. Oh, that's not a good idea. You could do most of this without sprinting at all. Like, maybe that's the next one is like a no sprint challenge. Okay, yeah, they're going to they're gonna close the... I, 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 this is almost like a wave. Like when you're trying to surf and the wave's collapsing on you. Sometimes the wave will collapse and you have nowhere to go. So you got to be careful how the, the zombie wave is, is going. So this should be pretty easy. We can get out of this. 
There we go. Oh, why did I do that? I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit the back button instead of the forward button, though. So that was really, really dumb. All right, so yeah, you can see the challenge here. It's this is a tough area. You can, I feel like it's doable here and it's doable at the, at the fire department. But the fire department, I found the most success. So, get a giant mass together, break line of sight in the woods. Yeah, that's that's definitely one way to do it. Um, actually, no, let's leave all the saves. I want to see how many we've died, uh, just so we can keep track, because it's it's going to be a lot. Like, we'll, we'll have several pages of, of these, for sure. Alright, Billy Bitchell, you got military boots, we're ready to play. A challenge about, like, Billy Bitchell, it doesn't include cheating. Yeah, seriously. I was thinking that, too. I was thinking that, too. Maybe when I when I do the heavily edited video, I'll, I'll, I'll add some kind of cheat at the end, just to kind of tie the story together. I think that'd be funny. So, we're actually really close to the fire department. We spawned in the police, which is just across the street. This is a really difficult place to hold. Uh, not recommended. Maybe, maybe you know what? We'll try it. We'll try it. Uh, I know. I I keep saying we should not do this, but we're going to do it anyways. Um, th you, this place will make you good at combat. If you if you can manage to survive here for like one day, then you'll have figured something pretty, uh, pretty tough out. So what we're going to do is go back. We want to find maybe another baton if we can, although it doesn't really matter. I, I, yeah, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't need a backpack. Uh, there's food back here sometimes, though, like in the little lunch bags. So lunch bags can be, oh, a fanny pack. One on the front, one on the back. Another nightstick. And then the women's uh, locker rooms over here. They've got a few more. All right, nothing there. So, sorry. Let's get our let's get our beaten stick out. And sometimes you spawn with the key to get in here. Not this time. Not a big deal. So we're gonna kill so many. They're gonna spawn a key and one of the dead bodies. So, are you allowed to fire kill? No, 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 no fire killing. Nope, not allowed. I also I forgot. I didn't even mention it, but no. Um, what do you call it? Oh, this guy's got a shotgun. Yeah, see, he's got a key. So we can get into the armory and use the guns, but it's it's such a bad idea. Um, I'm also not going to be running zombies over. Maybe, maybe just a, once in a while, just because they're in the way. But I don't want to use... I, I want to be able to record all... Without having a mod for it, I want to be able to record all the kills. So it's, it's going to have to be on here. Anything that makes this tally go higher. I'd love to string these together and, and clear out the whole map at some point and do like over a million zombie kills, but I know that's going to take like months and months and months, so. Have you... Yeah, you can run into previous zombie view. Yeah, I, I usually restart the map at that point. I, I generally like a fresh map. But uh, yeah, I, you, you can do it. Uh, there, that one's tough, man. All right, so that's not going to work. We'll, we'll come back in here. So we'll bait them through the glass. So they'll, they'll pretty quickly shatter that, and then we need to clear this. We could break it ourselves, but I don't really feel like making all that noise. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. So there's only two, which means we can... Why are you getting up, dude? I'm standing on you. Yeah, it, like I was mentioning, it's, it's, there, there's some jank in this game, for sure. Like, that was pretty janky. We were standing on that zombie, and she still got up. But, um... Let's get ourselves a watch. We're also going to use the beta blocker because we are like freaking out right now and we're going to be freaking out for quite a while. And let's remove the broken glass. So now we can go through there if we need to. We'll go back out. We'll get a few more before they clump up because there's going to be a massive, massive clump. It's it's worse here than it is at the uh, the houses, but the difference is you have more room to maneuver here. It, it is a bit of a death sentence, but I, like I said, I think I can... Oop, I missed. I think I can do it. I, I feel... What the hell was that, dude? Wait, why did I trip over a zombie that was down? That was bizarre. I, I don't have anything to clear the bleed with. That was really dumb. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, well... Anyways, I was just talking about that, too. It's like... Here, come in here, please. Alright, let's get somebody's boxers. Now we'll rip the shirt. Alright, 
Alright, we're gonna use a dirty rag because I don't care about infection. No big deal. Uh, before that breaks, let's clear this so we can use it later. We're gonna need to go in and out. And let's just speed this up. So i waiting for one. Alright, now we need to clear this out. Although, I, I don't think we'll stay here. We'll probably go next door. That was so weird, man. I don't know what happened. I don't know how it got scratched. The zombie was, like, on the ground, and then it glitched up, and then went back down again. Super janky, but it's all right. That, that, I guess that's part of the challenge, is just knowing the limitations of the combat system and playing within that. Alright, so we'll get all these out. There's some more customers. Uh, the other thing, if, if you get tired of doing this, you can l lure them inside and then just kill them on the outside so you don't have to do it this way. That's one... Th oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. What am I doing? I'm trying to grab the clip. I'm grabbing everything but the clips. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to grab the glass because we don't have um, we don't have leather gloves, so that would be bad. We would slice up our hands pretty bad. Okay, so back to sneaking around. Let's try and grab a few more guns and 16x is mental. Yeah, that would be a bad idea unless you're like coming fully loaded from the outside area. Then it probably wouldn't be too bad. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. We'll definitely take some painkillers. That's not a bad idea. Alright, as long as they're coming in one by one or two by two, we can do them outside. No big deal. We don't need to fence fight. We'll take another nightstick. We're not going to overburden ourselves or overheat ourselves with any of the other stuff. We don't need any armor. Because basically, if we, get, if we get caught, we get caught. We'll just start over. Alright, looking pretty good. Let's go back inside, get some water. I would really like to find a container for water so we don't have to keep doing that, but... Hey, Dimitro. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad uh, I'm glad people are liking every the, the non-Bannerlord stuff as well, because I, as much as I like Bannerlord, you know, I can only do so much with it. All right, here... Okay, they actually made, made it inside. So this is this is a really good spot to, to kite zombies. Or we need to smash because they're coming. We want to handle them when there's only, like, three or four. Oh, that's bad. Jeez, Louise. All right, the other... So here's another tactic that you, if you're going to try this challenge, you need to learn. This is the uh, the fence toggle, or the door toggle. So if you if you flash the door, you can let one to two out at a time. Sometimes it's two. You got to be careful with that because they'll, they'll clip through each other and start biting you. Okay, cool. Oh, come on. Alright, we're gonna have to be a little bit less rigid here. We're just gonna have to kind of go with the flow because they're not really cooperating. So this door's gonna break soon. We're just gonna open it. You can hear the, the sound that they make when they're beating on the door changes when it's about to break. You, you, you'll you hear the difference pretty, pretty immediately. Uh, we can kite these guys out here. This is fine. That's why we broke the window. We can jump back through if we need to, but we'll definitely kite them right here. It looks like we've got some runway room. Oh, that's not good. Stop somebody, please. There we go. And then we'll just kite him back in. Oh, that, she didn't cooperate. You didn't cooperate, did you? All right, we can't jump through here, unfortunately, because we didn't clear the glass yet. But we can go back in. All right, so she's going to be stuck on that window. These guys will kite through this so we can take a smaller group. Dude, can you actually stomp the ground, please? Jeez, man. All right, maybe we can do this. I gotta get them separated a little bit better though. No, it's not gonna work. Alright, well, it's, that's okay. We'll do it over here. There we go. Yeah, you, you hear the door, the sound it makes? It sounds like it's uh, it's about to break for sure. So let's actually let them through and I'm gonna kite them back here and we'll do it again back here. And we'll just do a staggered retreat. This is uh, Bannerlord tactics here. <laughs> we got our, our staggered retreat going on. So again, we'll just... 
fence fight. I don't know what you would call it. It's not fence fighting, but it's kind of like fence fighting. Yeah, th this only lasts for so long, though, because, like I said, these doors take a ton of damage, and they're not going to be useful at all soon. Get out of my way, baby. Now, I'm not going to clear the zombie corpses here. We're going to deal with... Um, as soon as we start getting the corpse sickness, we will actually leave and go to the, the fire department. Like I said, I just wanted to show you the combat here because it's it's tough, man. But th I really like doing this one. It, it, it's not practical, but it's fun. It's really fun. Probably the most fun because there's so many options. The, the problem is there's really no food here. There's rarely any food. There's plenty of water, um, but there's also a huge traffic zone for zombies to go by. So it's, it's kind of a tough one. It's, <laughs> I love shoving them when they're like not looking your way. It's, it's very satisfying for some reason. Like more, it's more satisfying than stomping on their head. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Can I ask why you're stomping instead of using the nightstick and any melee? Yeah, Kate. So two things. This nightstick uh, has a certain durability that will not last very long at all, and um, so we'll burn through all of our our weapons very quickly. The second reason is because. Um, it doesn't do as much damage as a stomp. So when they're on the ground, stomping is really good. And, and, and because of that, we have to swing at them like six times per zombie. We're going to burn through all our endurance and we won't have anywhere to, we won't have any stamina to, to keep fighting. It's actually the most efficient way to, to combat if you fight. Oh, this is really bad. This is where it ends right here. We'll, we'll probably abandon and go to the police, the, the fire department. But yeah, if you, if you use your feet, it's actually the, the strongest attack. Aside from maybe like a spear, in, in my opinion, for the early game, I think it's the, the best one. There we go. Let him glitch through a little bit. So listen to the sound the door makes, and then hear it in a couple of seconds. Shoot! Yeah, they're gonna bust through it right now. We gotta finish this and probably run. Oh, you hear it? Yep, there it goes. There it is. It, it makes it. It's actually there's three noises. I didn't realize there was a third one. That last one is like uh, one hit and then it's done. Okay, so we're getting. Oh yeah, they migrated. The horde migrated in here. So, I mean, we could continue to kite, but the problem is we're just gonna run out of runway. We're, we're not gonna have any time to to hit them. So, let's let's take a quick. Let's take a quick lap. I'm gonna try and. What I'd like to do is, we're going to go in the fire department, but I'd like to at least clear some of these guys out. So let's head over here and start screaming and get them to follow us. And then that'll clear out some of the zone that we, we're going to have to do controlled, like uh, leading them away and coming back. They'll migrate back eventually, but we the, the idea is to get them to trickle back slower so that you can actually handle them. So. Are you using mods? Yeah, there's a couple mods. Like you can see the... Uh, there's one that shows their hit points. That one I could probably turn off. It doesn't matter because most of the stomps are one hits anyways. Um, I have one that shows XP. So like when we sneak, it'll start giving us XP. I like to see how many, how much XP things are giving so I can keep tabs on it. Um, I have one for picking up items off the floor. It's a proximity. So you can see instead of having to go one by one, you can see everything on one page, which you can see with, with this many zombies, and they're all going to be killed in this small area. Um, it's it's actually pretty important to have that one. It's, it's hard. So... What we're going to do, let's circle around. If you, if you uh, just make some yelling noises and then you immediately run, the problem is the tail of your of your zombie conga line is going to get stuck in the back and they'll just stop and wait. So what you'll end up doing if you yell and you don't make circles, you'll end up actually putting more zombies where you just tried to, to clear them at. So always make sure you, you spend a little bit of time clearing them out, getting them grouped up, and then leading them away as one big ball. Not a, a ball is better than a line. When it comes to Zomboid, you want to make sure they're in a, a ball, not a line. So again, let's ball them up a little bit. See, these guys we yelled earlier, they, they heard, but they stopped before they actually saw us. So by doing a circle a couple times, we give them a chance to catch up, and then we get them in involved in the big ball. So, yeah, respectable horde. It's not that big compared to a lot of the stuff, but yeah. 
Oh yeah, the inventory management, you're right. So the weapon indicator, so I have that one. I also have the Moodle indicator, so it tells you what actually happens. Yeah, so like uh, this injury one, we get a 5% chance to trip, more, uh, more likely to trip. Worst knockdown chance. Yeah, so this extreme panic does actually affect our, our chance to shove zombies down, but that's fine. I think it's worth it because we needed the extra points. All right, so I think we pretty much have our ball. There's not really a whole lot else lagging behind, so let's go ahead and drag them. And what I'm going to do is pull everything from here as well because they will eventually migrate over here. And so the the more we pull away, the better we'll, we'll be for a sh certain amount of time. So here we go. You can safely use your shotgun now. That is actually accurate. I don't think we have any ammo, though. Nope. Quick, quick. <laughs> it's all right. We'll just yell at him for now. And again, make sure you double back, because these guys, they run to your sound, but if they don't see you anymore, they just stand there. And we don't really want them to do that. Where did we get injured, by the way? The forearm. Yeah, that's fine. At least it doesn't slow us down. Anything that slows you down is like almost a death sentence in this mod, in this uh, challenge. So those guys will catch up. And what we're going to do is we should be good now. Let's go ahead and go up, up this side. Yeah, here we go. Here comes the horde. And then what we'll do later at some point, if we get to this point, is we'll start going to the cornfields and taking out these zombies that have overalls. Um, they, they have a, a much higher chance of spawning seeds. Because we're not going to really have time to go to stores. It's it's really hard. You're going to have to get most of your zombie or your uh, your inventory from zombies. So kind of knowing what spawns where is, is pretty important. And those overall guys, they're like farmers. And so they have a chance of spawning like trowels, shovels, seeds, all that stuff. All right, this is a pretty good size horde. We'll lead them out this way. Now, I don't care about these guys. They're pretty far in the back, so we'll probably just get out. Yeah, Zomboid is a lot of fun. It, this is definitely a game that you can spend, like, thousands of hours in. You know, the, the replay value is, is very high with this game. So we'll do some shouting. This is going to block line of sight, so some of these guys are going to get lost if we don't shout. So we'll shout just to pull them over here, and then we'll go somewhere else and run back so that hopefully we don't draw a huge crowd. Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll wrap back around and jump over the fence. I think that's the that's the game plan here. So we'll keep keep shouting, pulling them away as best we can, and then let's start getting out of here. So we'll break, like I said, we'll break line of sight. Let's actually not run through the trees because that's a very bad idea. Uh, we'll go prone for a sec so they lose line of sight, and then let's sprint somewhere else. 1% sprinters? Dude, that would be insane on this one. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the next the next step up, right? Throw in a few sprinters. So we're coming back to the top of the police station. This is going to get a little hairy here, I think. Uh, but again, what I mentioned before is make sure that you... The, the best place to do this is around fences that are scalable for you, but not the zombies. And they're also indestructible. So they'll, they'll lose their pathing right now. Well, this one they may not because they do have a way to get in. So all I want to do at this point is get some water because we are parched. I'm hoping that there's not a ton in here, but let's take a wide berth just in case. Yeah, there's a few. Oh, there's a lot. Okay, well. Let's get some water very quickly and then get out. So we got our water. We're good. Yeah, see, this is, th this is not, in my opinion, this is not holdable. I, I don't know that it's possible to do it here. It, it's it's really hard so yeah build 42 is going to be very interesting i i'm all about that um you know minimizing what you have available to you and, and kind of being resourceful i really like that that gameplay loop so being able to craft all that stuff would be fun i know there's mods that do it and i haven't um i haven't really played with it yet but i'm curious to see what the devs do
Okay, so now we gotta clear the fire department out. This place usually is swarming, so we might have to lead them out again on the other side. Probably need to get some... Oh, she got beta blockers. We'll take that. Speaking of which, we gotta keep taking those. Yeah, we don't have... Unfortunately, we don't have anything... Uh, we don't have anything to eat. Uh, let's actually not waste our time with that. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. Right out the door. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Alright, we'll let them bust all the doors and everything. Actually, this might not be a bad time. We gotta try and rush in here and get a, an axe. Crowbar would be okay too, but the axe is, is the best, I think. Alright, we're just gonna take it in hand and then get out before they block the door. Yep, they're gonna block the door. So, let's go ahead and attach it to our back and we'll drop the... We'll drop the rifle somewhere because it's too heavy. The thing weighs a lot. Okay, so, this is... Yeah, let's do another... Let's do another pull. I don't... Yeah, this is too much. This is too much. It's probably not... It would be doable if we didn't have the injury, because we could actually use the axe a little bit more when they're on the ground. The only time I'll use the weapon to strike is when they're either really low and I can one-hit them, or if they're on the ground, and then you get that bonus. So, agoraphobic, really worth it. Well, so, like I said, the only time we're attacking zombies is when they're on the ground, and the bonus damage negates the, um, the debuff that you get. So that's mainly why I do it. Because no matter, and also think of it this way, anytime we get, we fight zombies, it's going to be in giant hordes like this. We're going to be panicked anyways, because the, the panic increases depending on how big the, the horde is. So uh, let's not get caught here. This is actually really bad. All right, let's see a way to get out. Let's see a way to get out. Yeah, we're good now. Um, yeah, your panic is going to be maxed almost the whole time anyways, whether you take it or not. So I figured having it is, is good. Is multi-hit open? No, no multi-hit. This is single. Yeah, I turned multi-hit off. This is basically a, um, apocalypse settings, but I just turned the zombies all the way up. That's ba And I turned the water and the electricity off from day one. So it, it's just adding a little bit more challenge, but it's basically um, apocalypse setting. Uh, so, oh yeah, back to the agoraphobic. The thing with agoraphobic, as time goes on, you become desensitized. And it actually doesn't really do anything um, once you get to like, I don't know, it's three months or six months or something. Like, it'll it'll increase your fear at such a slow rate that it doesn't even show up anymore. So, if you survive long enough, any of the, the fear perks are, are kind of irrelevant. But it, it's really painful in the early stages if you're doing regular combat. But if you're doing fence fighting or, you know, door fight, window fighting, and you're hitting them on the ground, it doesn't matter because you get such a huge bonus to your attack anyways. Uh, I don't want to go back again. Let's try and get out of this without getting stuck by the wave. You know, again, we'll keep pulling them. I, I want to pull everything out of the the actual fire department, so let's draw them back over there and see if we can get them out. we got to find some food here some, at some point. we got to clear all these windows, because these windows are really important. Is there anybody in there? No. Nobody in there. All right, look at that. Look at that beautiful, empty fire department. So that's that's what we want to come back to, but we didn't earn it yet. We got to lead these guys away. Yeah, I, I don't like multi-hit personally. I feel like it makes the game way too easy. Even on this mode, it, it would definitely change it quite a bit. Because it's not so much for hitting more than one at once, but the shove. Like, you could shove, like, five zombies off you at once, which is silly, in my opinion. For, for like a challenge like if you're if you're just playing to have fun or that's what you enjoy no big deal if you're trying to if you're trying to do a challenge run like come on turn that off don't don't be silly don't be a <laughs> don't be a silly billy like this guy don't be a silly billy bitchel all right here we go so we are we're gonna shake him we're gonna pull after this i don't want to wait for these guys we can take them out no big deal Is the human NPCs option? So it's a, yeah, there's human NPCs is, I believe, a mod. I don't think it's in the actual game yet. They had it, my understanding is they had it in the game at one point and then they took it out because it was bugged or something like that. So 
Yeah, it's 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 not in the game currently, unless you do. Uh, I think there's a mod. So. All right, so these guys, I want to get them away from this tree patch because they'll some of them will get stuck, and I don't want to have to pull it again twice. So we'll just take a little bit more time. Actually, we should pull this group too because that I have to pull them again twice. So let's pull them. Okay, now we're going down the down the street. Yeah, you would think you would think this would be easy mode, right? With an axe and all this, but just look how many zombies there are. You will run out of stamina, or y your fatigue will go basically to zero before you clear out like even five percent of this. So that's why. I'm yeah, you gotta you gotta stomp them on the ground. That's like the only way to do this challenge, in my opinion. All right, so we're gonna leave this small group away, and then we'll come back and, and try and fortify our area. How many did we kill so far? So we're at 36, which is actually really low. I, I thought we would have killed a lot more than that, but interesting. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'd spend a lot of time running around, so it kind of makes sense. Like I said, usually I average at least 100 per day. Oh, can we get this guy's... Oh, I forgot. I hit the wrong button. Yeah. Because I, I don't I don't attack. I usually do the, uh, the push and stomp, so I'm like... My brain is thinking no weapons. <laughs> That's all right. We don't need the backpack. It's just kind of nice to have one. All right, so they're still coming. Now, this is where it gets a little scary because we do have to run through some trees. And that's generally not a good idea on this mode because there's so many zombies and they'll just... You'll run right into like two or three and they'll, they'll take you to the ground. So let's snake back and forth a little bit so this group can clump up a little better and we can get a tighter group and lose them further away from the uh, fire department. All right, here we go. So let's cut back across. I, there's a spot up here where you can actually see straight through. I don't know where it is exactly, but I know it's somewhere over here. How are we looking? Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Oh, you know what? The, this is the cemetery, I think. Isn't there a cemetery right here? That's not, that looks scary. That looks scary. I can't see. Yeah, there's a cemetery. Okay, we can see over the fence. I, I just try to avoid doing things where I, there's a very high chance that I'll end up getting caught. And I'm going to yell a couple times in this corner so we can pull these cr the crowd that can't see me. They will go to this. What did I do? Uh, they will go to the sound at least. And we want them to pull off of the road and over here so they're less likely to go back to the uh, the fire department. So... That'll help keep them out a little bit longer. Uh, it, so all the other settings are, are whatever um, Apocalypse setting is. So we're just going to leave it at that. So it's, yes, saliva, scratches, lacerations, they all have a chance to infect. Yeah, it's all it's basically the same as Apocalypse, but we turn the zombies all the way up. <clears throat> <clears throat> also, one thing that we'll want to do, these um, these things are pretty hard to get into, but what I found when you have this many zombies, they will do it for you. So you just have to get them kind of grouped up. <clears throat> get them grouped up a little bit, and then make sure their pathing goes right through it. So like this way. And then by the time we come back, that door is going to be done, gone. You can hear them hitting it. Yeah, so they'll, they'll take it out for us. All right, no time to go slowly. We got to really hop over these. So I mentioned before about jumping the fences. These little ones don't help because they can go over it and they'll eventually destroy it. But these fences are too tall for them to climb and they're indestructible by the zombies. So we can easily go over. Let's try and get there before this guy does. And then we just go crouch. And you see they stop. Their, their pathing stops because it's too far of a route to get to us. So what I like to do is lead them away, jump the fence, crouch and then now we have at least a, a couple hours before the giant horde comes back and we can kind of deal with the small groups uh, little by little or like right now we need to go deal with some stuff we got a high thirst we've got hunger uh there's a few other things we probably need to deal with as well yeah so even though we have all these debuffs notice how that stomp was a one hit that was a one-hitter quitter. 
this do all these debuffs decrease our you know our stats but it doesn't matter because when you when you stomp them it just does so much damage all right hopefully there's not oh you gotta be kidding me there was one on the corner dude are you serious it better not be a bite are you kidding me man That sucks, dude. All that time just to get bit in the back like that. That is so stupid. It, it, so when I jumped in, he, he was sitting right here just waiting. Like, exactly where he needed to be. So, yeah, we're gonna die. Uh, uh, why the stopping here? I'll show you why. So, like, if you ground hit, you can get... Anytime you do ground hit, you get a, a bonus to your damage. Uh, stomping uses less stamina, and it doesn't use up... Our, um, it doesn't use up our durability in our weapon. So basically, it's like a free kill. The only thing it costs you is a little bit of stamina. Right, let's take a few with us, because I know we're going to die here anyways. We'll get a little bit of practice, get some use out of this. So always get him down. Go for the easy one first. So like I said, we're going to have to do some, some risky plays like that at some point. Might as well get some practice in doing it. There's only one car here, which kind of sucks too. So maybe that wouldn't have been a good run. It's it's nice when you have multiple cars. Ooh, nice empty bottle. We could have had water. Yeah, dang, man. that's That's rough. That's really rough. Yeah, I I guess I yeah, I guess I should have just taken the long route just in case that would have happened, but it's it's like there's nobody there was nobody there. Like you could see the the whole thing was empty except for one all the way in the back. Yeah. That's but that's zomboid for you, right? It's like you you could doesn't matter how good you are, sometimes you just put yourself in a situation where you could potentially get bit, right? So Let's see, this is usually fairly clear. Let's see if there's anybody else up here. We'll do a, a, a last stand. There's somebody rustling to get out. Are they up here? Yeah, here he is. So here, I'll show you. I'll show you why I don't melee attack. See how long it takes. Now, I have some injuries, too, so this is going to make it worse. Look how much stamina this thing uses and how ineffective it is at killing them. So, if I just pushed them on the floor, I would have used basically no endurance. Yeah, the shove and, a, and one hit to the floor uses way less endurance. And it doesn't use up your your um, your weapon. Now, the, the times that we will want to use our weapon is when they're coming in through the fence really fast. And we can't stomp fast enough. The melee attack is actually a little bit faster. So yeah, fist fighting might be funny. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and let somebody bite us, and we'll start a new one. Yeah, it, because we have the firefighter um, crate, our attacks are actually really fast. Let's say, yeah, look how hard it would be to clear out this this word. Compared to just leading him through a, a window and then stomping him, it's like 10 times easier. So, there you go, have fun, eat it. So, yeah, it is what it is. Hey, butters. Under the stairs, yeah, in the stairs, you can't do anything. They're just there. They're stuck. They'll be there for the whole match. Took you out of your romance, Mangat. <laughs> You can push them into the ground and then use the axe to level the weapon skill. Yeah, having the weapon skill is good. Um, I, I like to save the durability for when those times when I have to use them in the windows. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it'll make it'll make sense. It'll make sense. There. So let's say, just take for example, just think of it this way: if if we get let's say five hundred kills out of a an axe and we have three axes on us. That's 1,500 kills. There's literally tens of thousands of zombies in this town, so we, we, we're we going to burn through it fast. So that's why I, I try to I try to make it good for the long run. 
I and I see what you, I know what you mean. Um, long run is good as far as having more skill. I agree, but it, you got to balance it out with the other stuff too. It's just a little different. Hey, Mito, how you doing, man? Good to see you as well. Yeah, this is this is a rough one to join, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, that's that was uh, GG for sure. Uh, what we're gonna do here? Oh, nice. We got water bottles. This is gonna be a good run. We're already starting off well. We got canned food. So we can take all the stuff from here and then just go to the fire department right off the bat. Well, I'm going to actually try and start to beat this now. So let's start working on that. Nice. We got a ball peen hammer. That's good. In case we need to use it. It's got zero durability though. So it's pretty much toast. Yeah, so we're not going to stay here. Uh, we're not going to use these books, but we'll grab them just because... Why not? Yeah, actually... Yeah, this stuff's all useless, but that's fine. Let's see if we can find a backpack and maybe a crowbar upstairs. Kind of unlikely, but you never know. Come on, Billy. Get your head in the game. <laughs> oh, nice. We got a keytar and a fanny pack. Maybe we could put that on the back, actually. Yeah, we'll go around with this. Look at this thing. It looks like a beast. It's pretty trash, but it looks cool. I uh, don't mean to be backseat nagging. No, you're good. You're good. It's... I, um, I mean, you know, I, I run a, a guide channel, so, oh, why did I run into that? Okay, so let's, let's try and get to the fire department without getting killed here. But this is an interesting start. <laughs> here we go. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go to the fire department right off the bat and see if we can start to clear that a little bit. Alright, this is, I don't know what's going on here, this is a lot of zombies. And they're not, like, uh, grouped up like they usually are. I guess they need time to do their little, uh, group migration. So this might end up not being very good, but we'll see. Yeah, this is 16x, yep. Yeah, 16x, everything else is apocalypse setting, so no multi-hit. Um, I also turned off water and power from day one, right right off the bat, so. <laughs> yeah, this is this is usually what 16x looks like. I know we've we've been doing some kind of test runs, but this is generally what it looks like. So when I say it's an impossible challenge, this is what it generally looks like. That's kind of why I say it. I, I think I think it might be possible, but up to this point, after 100, you know, I don't know, 100 tests or whatever, it's it's been pretty hard, so. So, let's get away from these guys, because I don't want to drag them all the way down to our fire station that we're going to try and go to. Oh, running through trees is a really bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. So, we're going to jump the fence right here, potentially. Here, what if we yell? That'll drag them out. They're going to path around this way. And by the time they get there, we're already going to... Is it just the one? All right, we can take on one. And then we'll jump the fence. All right, did they path back to us? No. All right, cool. So those guys, let's go along this fence. Hopefully those other ones path this way and they don't see us. We're going to probably have to do... Yeah, this is too many. We're going to have to pull them out anyways. Oh, I was looking at chat. Why am I doing that? It's alright. We don't really use our, our arms to attack, and it wasn't a bite, so it's not a big deal. Um, somebody's asking why I don't use the... Um, why I don't turn on... So I, that's one reason why I turned off the power and water from day one, so I can't turn on stoves and start a fire. Uh, no fire allowed in this challenge. It's supposed to be 
all personal combat. <laughs> yeah, I find that using fires to burn hordes is it's satisfying, but it's not challenging for, for me personally, so that's why I wanted to, to do something different. Made me squirt in fear. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try and focus here for a minute. Oh, I didn't mean... I think that was a good idea. Go through that. That big group. Alright, we should be good here. So we'll keep pulling zombies out, and then, like I said, we'll, we'll lead them away, we'll circle back, and then hopefully... Hopefully this time we won't do something stupid and get bit near a, a window. <laughs> Yeah, punish for reading chat, exactly. Let's make sure there's no stragglers here. I don't think there is. No, we're good. So we can lead these guys out. Getting them into a nice tight ball. and So they're already going to be uh, going for us anyway. So let's start pulling these guys and we'll, we'll join the two, um, these two groups together. And then same thing down here, we'll pull all these guys. So what we'll do, we'll stay here, maybe one or two laps into a circle, and then we'll try and... Try and pull them out. Yeah, let's start circling back before we lose our little corridor to get out safely. Yeah, look at that guy. He was hiding by that corner. Always trying to leave little traps, huh? Alright, here we go. And I don't want him to go... Oh, why did he do that? I don't want to go near this tree because that, that last time it took forever to get him unstuck. So let's go ahead and... Let's get him away from this tree and get him on the road. Oops. Hey, Craze, uh, if you check my, my uh, the channel on this one, there's a video I did recently. It'll show you the, the uh, RPM, the how much they pay per thousand. Uh, and it's it's different depending on what kind of content you're doing. So like if it's If it's a longer video if it's a let's play or a guide or whatever or a short it pays differently. So Oh, there's so many zombies the sound just cut out. So we have no sound. There it goes We broke the game So I, These guys all need to get over the fence before we go back over because otherwise they're gonna They'll be stuck here, and then we're just going to have to do another one. I don't want to do more than one of these. It's really annoying to have to lead them away like this. It, it's This is like last resort, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, but anyways, I was saying, I did a video where I analyzed um, my channel last year, all, the, all three channels. So you can see that. I think the guide channel is like um, 250. The Let's Play channel is about four fifty, and then the long live streams are like nine dollars per thousand, something like that. All right, here we go. We're getting we're getting collapsed down here. We gotta go, but I don't want to get too far ahead of these guys because then they'll stop following. So let's circle back again. Here we go. We can get a nice chunk of them back over here. There we go. And it seemed like that last route was pretty good where we go up to the cemetery. That was a nice straight shot. Uh, the plan is to lead these guys away so that they don't migrate back to the fire department anytime soon. And then as they migrate back, they'll do it slower. It's a, I, I think of it kind of like water flow. Like if you try to drink from a fire hose, it's too much. Um, but if we kind of like you know, turn the faucet down a little bit, we could probably manage it. The the, the faster the, the faucet's going, the harder it's going to be. So right now, this is, like, impossible. 
But if we get it to, if they trickle in slowly, we can definitely manage that. So, yeah. So now they're they're gonna path towards this exact location where we yelled last. They won't they won't chase us the entire time. Oh, I hear zombies. I don't like it. All right, sweet. So we're we're. I don't want to say we're in the clear, but we're in good shape now. We just need to not go near corners that we can't see or bushes. And then we should be alright. And then again, let's also make sure that they path around these um, these garages so that we can get inside them next time. So pull them this way. And then sprint around the corner and they'll path right into that. Yeah, they'll open that up for us. Oh crap. Oh boy. That was really bad. <laughs> I need to get over the fence, man. Yeah, there's a lot there. Alright, we're gonna have to take a chance, I think. Okay, good. Oof. That was sketchy, man. They were all there waiting right to ambush. Yeah, that's the hardest part of the run is is going through an unknown. Like you can't control everything, but Okay, here we go. So like I said, there should be a manageable horde here now, and they will start to eventually... Because even when you turn migration off, they still migrate. They just don't migrate from, like, other parts of the, the world. They'll, they'll migrate from closer chunks. Alright, now the slaughter begins. So that was our first kill? No, second kill. So we got two kills. We gotta we gotta get those those rookie numbers up, but let's actually prep... Let's prep our uh, our canvas here. This is our, our canvas. We're going to paint this thing red. But we will do so What is that noise? Oh, man. I was going to say, don't be another zombie here, man. Please. <laughs> You cheating bastards. Alright. So we gotta open it up. Open that up. Let's open this window up over here. Let's check for food. Sometimes there's food in here. Nope. Like a, a lunch box or something. Oh, we do need some meds, but we don't need a lot. Uh, let's take one painkiller just in case we need it. Or we'll take the bandage for sure, because I'm going to get scratched up a lot in this game. Uh, the betas will take also one thing, a sleeping tablet, so when we go upstairs we can sleep. Just the one, no big deal. Crap. Alright, they're coming. Oh, it's probably he's probably stuck underneath the uh the stairs. Ooh, nice, they do have an axe. Yeah, these aren't mint condition, unfortunately, but they're decent. And let's get rid of this keytar, because this thing sucked. And we'll take a hammer. And a pipe wrench. We don't need too much, but we'll have a little something something in case we need it. And let's go ahead and we got, yeah, we got our water bottle, so we're good. Water is off though, so we can't just be wasteful. Let's go ahead and bring him over here because we're going to have to take him out the fence anyway, or out the window anyway, so. Just minimize the time we spend running around doing stupid things. So, just go ahead and throw him out. And I want to secure our sleeping area upstairs, just in case. I don't know how many spawned up here. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. Didn't miss that time. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes the isometric camera trips me up, man. Alright, there's a zombie here, but that's fine. Let's start our, our window fighting here. Well, oh, that guy's gonna lunge, and we don't want to be stuck in a uh, stun lock when they're lunging. 
We could probably do three here. Yeah, we can do it. Oh, of course. I hate it when they get up when you're standing on them. You could also do like a, a sprinting lunge that can help. But man, it's hard to it's hard to aim that thing. Okay, do we need anything from these guys? I would like to get a watch just so we kind of know roughly what time it is. So nobody has a watch yet. All right, and I promise I'm not trying to ignore you guys, but uh, yeah, we already saw what happened when I was not paying attention. This this challenge is it's insane, man. Why did I not hit? I must have aimed poorly there. Oh crap. There's only two in here, so we should be good now. Let's step on this one. Stomp them back down, and we're good. Let's clear this before they start coming in, in case we need to use it as a, uh, a retreat for later. Now, here, I'll show you the do ground attacks. Oh, that's right, we're injured. So when you're injured, you, ground attacks are bad, so... It's, your stomp animation will never change, no matter how injured you are. And it seems like the damage you take... When, it seems like the damage you take is... Or the damage you dish when you're... Why are these guys not staying down? There we go. Uh, it seems like the damage isn't that much different when you're injured, but when you use a weapon and you're injured, it's like... a massive difference. Like, like eighty percent less damage. But then when you when you flip stomp, it's like the same. It's almost. Uh, yeah. There's too many. We gotta go. All right. So, we did as much as we could there. We'll pull them out here. I don't want to have to do any more leading them away. So I'm gonna do my best to actually fight them here on the windows. We'll we'll do a couple laps if we have to. As long as there's not like sixty of them. I think like 20, 30, we can handle. Just when it starts getting close to 100, that's when it's a problem. Oh, he got stunned, he got stunned, nice. Sometimes you get lucky and they stun. Uh, they're gonna start doing it. So now we start juggling between windows. Yeah, they're gonna go out that window, no big deal. Yeah, this is this is uh, one of my favorite spots here at the police station, or the fire station to juggle. I just go window to window and I just, like this. It kind of draws them into a nice straight line. And then you can just juggle them back and forth. And now now you can probably see why I open everything up and break all the windows and, and glass. So that because there's just there's literally no time to do anything. So anyway, here let me catch up on chat because I've been ignoring you guys for a bit. As a firefighter in real life, I do not like the gear. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta be super heavy and hot, I bet. Hey, Shadow Being, what's up? Kill Streak Lord, yeah. We, this is we're just starting. I'm telling you, I've I've gotten into the you know four five hundred with bare hand. I think I've gotten more than that actually. I think I've gotten up to six or seven hundred with bare hand. And um, I think if I if I really slow down and focus, I can get that up even higher. I could probably be in the thousands before I die. Alright, th there's a lot- oh, here we go, we got an, a watch. And we'll take some scissors, because we could use that at some point. Now, let's start clearing these out, because... I Again, I don't want to deal with corpse sickness, and there will come a point where we just don't have time to, to dispose. And we're going to just keep adding more and more bodies. So, any... This is probably a bad idea, I should probably clear this first. It's all right. We need to get it done. Nope. Don't pick up broken glass. All right. You want to play? Oh crap! Here comes a here comes a migration. A small one. It's like playing whack a mole at the. I remember at Chuck E. Cheese they had the little whack a mole game. You'd have to hit him with the mallet. I don't know what that was about, but did we get bit? No, just scratched. 
Yeah, I took a chance at the lunge. Usually if you're close enough to them on the lunge, it actually doesn't hit you. And that was not the case that time, unfortunately. Yeah, it's it's still it's a high risk, low reward scenario, so I should probably stop doing that, but it is what it is. Alright, come on. We we got most of that hoarded out, so we'll have time to clean up still. And hopefully we don't get infected from this, but we might. It looked like it was mostly scratches, so I don't know, what is that, like 10% 10, 10 chance or something? It's, it's pretty low. No, 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 what are you doing, Stomp, dude? Yeah, sometimes he pushes instead of stomps. But you know what, I, I was just thinking, maybe we should do... For, for the, the actual challenge. Instead of... Instead of having somewhere where you, you cheat a little bit for, uh, you know, in, in tribute to Billy Mitchell, maybe we just do a, uh, like, a this is a Billy Mitchell's redemption. You know, he can do a really hard challenge, but he doesn't cheat to do it. <laughs> maybe that'd be, like, we're fixing Billy's reputation. That might work. Alright, so again, we gotta clear all these dudes out. So hopefully there's nobody here. Nice. Yeah, doing doing the 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 bodies away from the window is such a pain. Yeah, I try not to fight away from the, the windows if I it can help it. But I don't think there was much we could do here on this one. Seven percent. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I, I knew it was pretty low, and I think the laceration is like twenty or twenty-five percent, something like that. So hopefully we don't get we don't get anything. Now, we haven't checked on the other side of the building in a while, so it's likely that there's a big horde that migrated there. And it is getting... it's not dark yet, but it's going to get dark in the next, like, two or three hours. So we do have to be careful not to get too much going on now when we're going to have to sleep in the near future. So we don't want to take off... we don't want to bite off more than we can chew. That looks like it's most of them. Let's keep clearing these out. We're almost done, so this is good. Look at how much blood that is, man. This is like such... It's only in the beginning, too. It's going to get way worse than that. Oh, no. Oh, it's just those two. Uh, Bjorn, thank you so much for the donation. I, I appreciate the The 50 sec... I believe that is... Norwegian? Uh, what does sex stand for again? I forgot. I, pre I appreciate the donation, man. Thank you so much. I think it's from Norway. How are your shoes? The shoes should be fine. Yeah, no holes. And the thing that's nice about being here is there's a lot of military boots on these zombies, so we can find some replacements. I usually try and keep one or two pairs back up. So we'll probably do that soon. Swedish Krona? Oh, is it the Krona? Oh, Krona. Got it. Okay. I, it was somewhere up in that area. Alright, so now let's see how this side's doing. We'll clear it out, and then we'll, we'll go upstairs. We need to get some food, too. We're a little bit hungry. Uh, three. Yeah, we're not going to handle three. Let's actually... I don't want to take any risks now. Let's just... Hide him outside, and then we don't have to move him outside if we do this, anyways. Okay, that's all three. Let's get this lady out. And again, make sure you're spacing your your pushes. If you spam it too much, they will clip right through you. Uh, I forgot to look and see if there's anybody watching us. Let's take a quick look. 
Uh, so not too bad. So like this, this is this is reasonable as long as they filter in like this. And like I said, they will over time, even though we turned off. Um, even though we turn off the, the big migration, the small migration still happens. And if we didn't clear up here, so there might still be some that we have to fight through up here. We want to get some food and we want to have a safe place to sleep. And we'll have access to a little bit more water up here. So we'll have time to kind of get sorted and situated. I hear something up here. I heard some growling, so we got to be super careful around the corners. Nope. Okay, yeah. Alright, so we got backup boots up here too if we need them. We don't have a fanny pack. We did last time, but we died. Oh, look at Billy's shirt. It's like all jacked up. We gotta, oh, he could definitely rock the aviators. Billy Bitchell and aviators would be a sight to behold. Look at that. <laughs> he almost looks like, um, he almost looks like, uh, what's his name? The, the critical drinker? Just minus the, uh, the, the mullet. I can imagine, I can imagine critical drinker being a character in this game. Go away now. <laughs> It's like his his sign off when he kills a whole you know a whole horde of zombies. To try Battle Brothers, yeah, Battle Brothers looks like a lot of fun. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about it too. All right, so we do actually have some food. I forgot. Why didn't I not eat the food? Uh, let's eat the raw stuff first. Now we don't want to stuff. Yeah, we don't want to stuff ourselves because we need to be really picky about how much food we have. Food is, is at a premium here. None of the refrigerated stuff is going to survive. It's all going to go bad because we turn power off instantly. Um, it looks like the upstairs is clear, so we're we're good. We got a place to sleep. We got secure food and a little bit of water. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's... Um, Let's start shoving some stuff in the cabinets here. We don't need any of these books. Probably don't need the can opener or the canned food for now. We'll save those for later. I don't think we'll be needing most of these either because weapon-wise we'll be in good shape. Okay, so that's that. Alright, now something might have wandered up here so we do have to be a little bit careful. Hey, Alnomid, how are you? Yeah, good luck, have fun. We'll definitely need it, man. This is a this is a tough one. But we are up to what? 80? 50? So only 50 kills. We gotta get our numbers up. Those are rookie numbers, as they say. So let's start clearing. I, I prefer to fight on this side. I, I just feel like it's easier to kite them around. Uh we'll definitely take the matches. The electronic stuff we could start collecting, but I don't want to do that until I have a backpack because it'll overburden us and it, the bodies won't despawn for a little while. So there's a big uh, horde slash group. Don't really feel like dealing with that. We could probably take these small one-offs. The ones and twos are no big deal. Yeah, we'll collect the watches later. So we'll clear our backyard. Just so these guys don't catch us off guard later. And then the, the groups. We're not going to pull one by one. I know it's it's probably easier that way. But it, it's just way too slow. So we'll probably pick up the pace here. Yeah, there's still some back here. Let's try and clear these out. Before they join the other groups. We have plenty of stamina, so I'm going to sprint a little bit. Alright, we want one to go down, and then we'll push hard to get to him, so we can stand on top. Oop, I missed. Dude, go on the ground. And he gets up fast. Wow, that guy was uh, an uber, 
Uber zombie. All right, three is tough. If we can get this girl separated first. No, we can't. It's a tough one. We'll practice. Let's practice doing three. We have to do the sprint stomp, and we missed, so we'll have to reset again. So generally, you're not going to be able to stand on him, but you can maybe get a sprint stomp. I have to try her again. Oh. Okay, well, that was stupid. Laceration, but not a bite. Alright, let's not... Let's not practice anymore. Let's just do that. <laughs> what the heck, man? Uh, one of these days I'll learn. But not, not today, I guess. And the only thing he's good at is filling lawsuits, yeah. <laughs> now that was the laceration, so there's a higher chance that we'll get infected off of that, unfortunately, but... Hopefully... Hopefully not the case. Yeah, he stopped that girl. Oh, man. Yeah, so now, like, our, our attacks are really, really slow and weak because we just took so much damage. So that's why it, you really, if you're going to do this challenge, you have to be good at getting them to the ground somehow, either through a fence or a window or whatever, pushing them and then stomping because it, it just, it's just not going to work the other way. It's it, like I said, here, watch. And I think that was a crit. I think that was a critical hit too. Actually, if a regular hit's gonna do like ten percent, and then you're gonna burn through all your endurance. All right, let's let's focus here. See if I can get to like day three or day four. That's if I can get to day three or day four once today. I think I'll call that a success because I'm gonna have to practice this a bunch, as you can tell. I already died like six times. <laughs> this is the universe he didn't cheat. No, he definitely cheated at Donkey Kong, but this is his redemption arc. He's not going to cheat, and he's going to do an even harder challenge. This is this is probably like... I, I would assume this is harder than the Donkey Kong challenge, but I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, that's a big group. I don't really don't want them to, to join, so let's get away. So we cleared the backyard. Side yard's clear. We got to go to the front. The f this uh, front southern corner. Uh, so I don't have a backpack. I do have a little fanny pouch. Um, trying to find a backpack. Usually we'll get one on a zombie after a day or so. Because there's... hundred. We'll be killing hundreds. And there's going to be at least one. So let's try and pull just this group. Yeah, we can leave two or three behind, that's fine. And then we'll we'll bait them in. I don't want to pull that other group though. We'll we'll pull them separately. Alright, come on in. This one's stuck. Let's help unstuck so that they filter in one by one. Alright, they're gonna lunge. We can get back there and oh that was good all right that that felt really good yeah it's all about kiting and avoiding the lunge if you can it's kind of risky but you know i'll play die to that soon but I, it just like i said i i want to get better at this rather than just playing it safe and i mean i do need to play it safe but i want to i want to be able to do the really skillful stuff as well consistently without dying so but yeah, I should probably make smarter choices too at the same time. All right, let's get this other group, and then we'll probably worry about sleeping in the near future. Uh, what if we push? Does that make enough noise? No, it does not. So let's get these guys. And I'm going to pull them to this one, this window. Gotta run. Yeah, when they start grouping up like that, it's just not it's not good news. So we'll go to the next window, hide him here. Now if we can if we can keep them stunlocked, these guys are stunlocked, so no big deal. Oh I missed. Yeah, that guy was 
in the middle of an animation and invulnerable because of it. Or we can get a three. There we go. Alright, now it's just two. We should be fine. Where is... I can't even see where the body is. There's so many. <laughs> I can't tell which is which. Alright, there we go. That's the downed one, so we should be good there. Uh, we got a few bodies to clear on the inside. Let's get them out before we get jumped by another squad. There we go. Oh, here comes... Here comes a small horde. There's a backpack, so we'll have a backpack here. Alright, so that's a big... Manageable, but big. Let's try and get them spread out a little bit more. It, it's not so much having a big group. It's it's a big group that's all touching each other is the problem. If they're spread out by like half a second, it's enough time to stomp. But once they... Yeah, like say like that one was too close. But it's still... Oh, we need to run. Yeah, okay. No, I was... <laughs> that little voice in the back of my head's like, don't do it. Don't do it. And I started to do it, but then I listened, so... Alright, not gonna die here. It is some stupid mistake. Alright, let's jump out this window. Hide him outside so we don't have to clear as many zombies out the window. Alright, those are gonna lunge ahead. No big deal. Uh, I don't know if there's any stuff inside still, so what I'm going to do... Let's actually just go back through manually so we don't get bit. Okay, yeah, looks like we're clear. So we'll clear these last three. No. They're not going to cooperate, are they? So out this window. And there's one more. There she is. There we go. So there's that horde. Let's clean up. Just double check. Oh, no, there's still some more. Yeah, there's, I was going to say, there's somebody with a duffel bag in here. <clears throat> so we'll, we'll get a duffel out of this. Oh, that was a bad stomp. Oh, my goodness. That's how you get killed. Alright, so we'll pull these. I still don't see the duffel bag. Zombies probably stuck in that corner still, so we'll be able to solo them. We'll go to the far corner. Oh, what the heck? That one, like, jumped on the corner. Like, he didn't even go through the, the window. We gotta go. Yeah, that's not good. There's one over there stuck still. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. There we go. Alright, these two we can... We don't have to go back inside to him. Oh yeah, we do now. Crap. Oh, there's the duffel bag. Nice. So let's get the duffel bag inside. Yeah, look at that. That's weird. They're going at like an angle. Oh, no, no, no. The ground lungers, man. Alright, let's actually just bait them like this. We don't have to jump through. Why is he, they're, they're being so difficult. It's only three, but they're like raid bosses or something. All right, that one's, we broke that one's back, so he can't get up. Oh, well, we broke two of their backs. Nice. So let's just slow it down a little. There we go. All right, we got ourselves a duffel. All right, here. I'm going to take a quick breather here while I catch up on chat here. So here comes Fire Officer Lumberjack. Yeah, we are the uh, the Fire Officer. Yeah, not the Lumberjack. We're the Wait, are we? Shoot. I'm going to look. I forgot. We are the Fire Officer. You're right. Yeah, because the reason I did this is because I wanted to get the extra bit of strength and fitness. Basically, I wanted to start with max fitness and strength, and I don't care about anything else because... We, we need this to be able to stomp people and be able to swing and do all that stuff as much as we can just based on how many zombies we're going to be killing. I mean, look at that. We're 100 kills. We're only 16 hours in. So as I mentioned, we're going to be getting between 100 and 150 kills all by bare hand. And you need to have a lot of strength for that. So pretty, pretty intense.
Uh, you have a plan where you want the base in the long run. It's probably going to be here at the fire department, most likely, but it doesn't really matter. We, we're not going to have much time to mess with our base anyways, so. <clears throat> Alright, let's go take a quick lap. Actually, what we need to do is go rest. Sounds like there's some that snuck in here. Man, I can't see anything. Uh, what I do want to do is pick up one of these chairs. I, I love the fact that they have so many chairs in here. Because then we can just move them around to different parts of the base. And just leave them out so that we can use them later. Oh, get rid of the chair. Thank you. So now we can, we can uh, rest and sit on the ground. Pretty much anywhere in the base. So we're waiting for this to fill up our endurance and then we'll be good to go. Twenty four hour live stream win. Yeah, that's a tough one. Man, I I'm getting older and staying up twenty four hours, it's like uh you know, when you're younger in your 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 teens, your twenties <coughs> The next day you feel a little groggy, but then it's like no big deal. When you're when you're in your thirties, close to forty, and you do that, you feel it for like three days. It's just it's just not even worth it. I, I will probably do it at some point, but probably when my kids are a little older, just so because here's the problem, man. When you have when you have little kids, they they can wake up at any hour, any day, several times a night, and then you're just not going to get any sleep. So. If that happens on one of those nights where I just didn't get any sleep the day before because I stayed up all night, it's it's like a double whammy. Uh, we need you to hurry up, please. Okay, I don't like the look of this, actually, so I'm going to pull them over here. Let's make a little bit of noise. And then hopefully that'll pull more. And then we don't have to... I, I don't want to have to move the bodies from the middle of the base all the way to a window. It's just not worth the time. So here we go. Outside looks clear. Welcome to our body pile. All right, two more coming. So you can see the flies start to accumulate. That means we will get heart sickness if we stay here for too long. That's why I want to get them outside. So there, I remember watching a video. I don't remember who it was. It might have been Retinaru or somebody, but. They tested the corpse sickness inside a building. It, I guess it like spreads through the whole building. So even if the corpses are dead here, and you have a couple upstairs and a few in the closet, they all add up to one area, and it'll just basically taint the whole building. So that's why you gotta, gotta do that. All right, what else? Little one-offs we can handle. I just don't want to have to transport 40 bodies outside. That sounds like not a fun day. Alright, let's make some noise so they follow. This way, please. Okay, how many do we have? Only three, actually. It's not as many as I was hoping. We'll have to do it again, but not a big deal. Two more. Nice. They're spread out nice and even, so that, that makes it so much easier. Or maybe not easier, but manageable at least. There we go. And there is... Yeah, there's a, there's a group over here. So one thing we have to be careful of is when you're drawing a group from here, and then there's another one over here, and they start to sandwich you, that, that's a big problem. We are a bit hungry, so let's go ahead and eat some... Let's eat a lettuce. Why not? Eat a little bit more of our peas. Yeah, that's good. Again, we don't want to go over our hunger. That that would be a waste of food. 
Because when you go over hunger, it gives you a slight buff to like your strength and a few other things, but it burns through that food in your stomach. I think it's twice as fast or something. So it's it's for this challenge, it's not worth it because food is very, very limited. Oh, we attracted the group. So there's that. How many? It's big enough to where, yeah, we, we can't. There's no way we fight this off without using the windows. So back to the windows. That's too much. We need to get them to spread out a little bit more into like single file line. Oh crap, 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 crap. Yeah, more people join. So that's that's one of the big challenges here is when two groups kind of pincher you. It makes it challenging to say the least. I don't want to have to, but we might have to lead them away. Uh, we'll see. Let me... Yeah, so they get their all spread out. Did we do any damage? Very little damage, though, melee. And it's going to burn through our stamina. Can't really afford that. It's This might be too much. We might have to lead these guys out. Yeah, look at that. That's huge. It is... I'm getting close to time to sleep, so I don't know if it's worth it to do a big pull. Yeah, let's do a big pull. Let's do a big pull. That's fine. We, we did good today. Today was 117 and 9 hours, and then we're going to need a few hours of sleep, so that's, that's a pretty good quota. I wouldn't say we met the quota, but we got really darn close. So let's go ahead and pull everybody. Lead them out. They ate Billy Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's it's not a big group. But definitely not a big group, but it's it's bigger than we can handle. And yeah, we're tired, so we're we're gonna be struggling here if we don't. Oh crap! I gotta go back and pull these guys because they were going. I guess they they go to the if they're really far away, they go to where the noise originated from. And if they don't see you, they don't actually track you. They just track the noise you made. So if you yell here and then you lead a group over here, the people that were on the side will actually go there. So, like, I'm trying to clear the fire department. I'm not trying to, you know, clear a small group and then have a big group go in behind. So that's why we're going to do a couple of loops here. Uh, we should be good here, though. This is, this is a pretty small group. We don't need to go too far with this one. And then we need to get upstairs and sleep. So, yeah, let's do that. Oh, there's another duffel bag. We don't need a second bag. I don't think we need a second bag, though. Let's do a little bit more yelling so we can pull. I, I want to pull the ones out of the woods so that they don't migrate up into the, um, the fire department once we're done here. So we'll, we'll get them off the fence, and hopefully they will stay over here. All right, how's the horde looking? Yeah, it's starting to grow. So it, had, it was a pretty small group, but now we're getting a, a pretty big group going. Which is good. That's what we want. Alright, so let's make sure that they're all coming over here. These fences are just going to get demolished right now. It's kind of funny. Yep, there goes one. Yeah, fences in this mode do not last at all. They just completely fold. All right, so we should be good. Yeah, this is this is a small pull. It wasn't a big group, so we didn't have to go that far. No big deal. All right, we're going to go over now. We, we'll do it sooner because we might fail this one since we're exhausted. Okay, we got over in the first try. That's good. And then we're going to go back and get some sleep. Oh, this dude's a... This is a big dude. You got seeds on you? No seeds. Got a butter knife. Actually, no. We do have a backpack now. We can start collecting. Butter knife will be good when we, if we want to get to making spears at some point. So. So now we should. There, there will be a few here, but not too many. Yeah, we can handle these little one-offs. Oh, 
What is going on? Yeah, I guess the exhaustion makes a big difference in your damage. Because normally it's only taking us one to two stomps. That's taking us like three or four. Alright, so yeah, let's let's get upstairs as soon as we can now. There we go. Uh, how are our shoes doing? Because that's a problem if they get holes. Looks like they're in good shape, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, there's very few over here. I'm not going to jump through the window this time. I learned my mistake. Is there a Twitch channel? No, I don't I do not do Twitch yet. Um, I was thinking about doing it at some point, but not yet. I, I probably should. Yeah, because I can stream on both at the same time. So I'll probably end up doing that. Uh, hey, how you doing? Great. Hey, Nicholas Scott. Uh... Love King of Come. Where is the Warband? Yeah, I know. I I could I should do that Warband challenge sometime soon. I just I've got all these other things that I've I've got some practice in that I want to try and accomplish before I start branching out into other stuff. But it's still on the list. The Warband campaign is still on the list. The nice thing about playing older games is it doesn't really make a difference because you know they're older, so. You could do it now or in two years and it'll still have the same appeal. So let's go ahead and sleep. We do need the sleeping pills because of our injuries. And fortunately, we are not getting sick. So that means the scratches and lacerations are not fatal. So we should be in really good shape here. Uh, let's go ahead and get some water from the toilet. Because that's how Billy Mitchell rolls. Uh, sorry, Billy Bitchell. My mistake. No, uh, no association with the real person. I don't want to get sued. A uh, dual stream definitely wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Do you recommend playing probably just Zombo and or wait for full release? I definitely recommend playing it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no reason to wait. This game is, I would say it's, it's, I don't know about complete. There's definitely some shortcomings. But it's kind of, it's kind of like Bannerlord, where there's enough there that you'll you'll get a lot of fun out of it. You know, Bannerlord missing some late game content and uh, some of the skills and perks are pretty bad. It, I feel like Zomboid's like in a very similar boat. The late game there's not much to do. Some of the skills are not balanced at all. Like they're just pointless. Like if you level your electrical skill, it it doesn't really do anything um, past a certain point, and it's kind of pointless to to keep doing it. Um, and then some of them are really grindy. Reloading and nimble are extremely grindy. Sprinting is pretty grindy too. And then all the other skills, like some of the other skills, you can level up to max from day uh, day one pretty much. It's it's kind of well, maybe not day one, but I would say the first month you can have several skills maxed out. So it's it's some aren't balanced, some are balanced. Oh come on, we can do it. We can do it. Oh, no, no, I missed. There we go. Oops. Alright, again, we gotta maintain good housekeeping and making sure that we're not getting a buildup of corpses inside the... Oh, dude, I literally jumped on that. I don't know if that scared anybody else, but... Yeah, my hand came off the mouse for a second. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like a, a freaking 2D game like this, because they set such a good mood, they can still have jump scares even though it's got crappy graphics. Yeah, I wouldn't even call it graphics. It's all 2D stuff, but well, I guess technically the low quality 3D. How about that? Ah, oh, my heart's going now. <laughs> For once you weren't startled? Yeah, well, that makes one of us. There we go. Actually, I haven't checked these body piles for anything good. Scissors we can use later if we want to make spears. We can do that. We can start collecting watches. Keys. We already have a bunch of keys for this building, so we don't need any L anymore. So I think that's good. Let's check for more electronics. Oh yeah, butter knives, screwdrivers. These are all good weapons for the future if we want to go that route. Always read the annotated map so it can spawn.
And then, yeah, we got a lot of electronics here we can take. Sweet. We, we just need to get level one so we can hotwire cars. I don't think so, dude. You are not getting back up. All right, let's see this group. Let's try and pull most of them at once so that we can not have to do it again. I don't, uh, I didn't want them to join though. Shoot. Yeah, this should be a manageable group. The problem is they're kind of spread out so that they might, uh, that's all right. Let's see what we can do. I might have to kite them to the other end of the building. All right, we're going to stay here and deal with some of the lunge. I don't know where those outside guys are. Okay, they're, they went through, it looks like. That's good. The problem is when they're going through the, the window and they're doing this crap where they're coming at you from the outside. Uh, we need to eat something, so let's eat the rest of our peas here. And then we can kite them in on this window right here. Oh, we're gonna get lunged, I think. Yeah, we can't even get a kill there. All right, maybe, maybe we can juggle them this way. Let's see. No, they're coming in from the other side too. No, we can't afford to get scratched here. That's not. There's a survivor house right behind the fire station. Oh, interesting. I didn't notice that. Yeah, that'll come in handy later. All right, sometimes you can get one-offs like this. Yeah, we can't get a headshot though, unfortunately. So we gotta s separate them a little bit so that we can at least have a chance to stomp a couple before they group up too much. All right, this looks like a good chance right here. So I just gotta stay patient this time. I'm gonna try my best. I'm not that patient with these things sometimes. Oh, that's not good. All right, there we go. Probably overstayed our welcome there a little bit. Uh, this guy's by himself. That's an easy one. We'll get back here and... Uh, I didn't get there in time. I don't want to get lunged on. So we'll take some of these one-offs. So they don't join the group, at least. The friends are going to join, unfortunately. Yeah, we got to be careful here. We're starting to get a, a bit of a horde. Uh, I'm going to do... Get her... Uh, she's gonna lunge. Yeah, it's not worth it. All right, let's not get lunged on. Nope, there's somebody there. We can't use that window. So now this is too much. So I'm gonna pull them to the other side of the building to spread them out. And I don't think I cleared this out though. So there's probably still people down here. It's fine. We can we can start to thin them out over here. Oh crap, dude! Come on. You just swing at the air like an idiot. All right. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting a big word. Okay. So it might be time to do another poll, unfortunately. Yeah, we got like three groups on us. I'm going to tr I'm gonna try and not do that. Let me see if I can thin them out a little bit. No, these guys are really tough. They are not taking anybody's stuff. All right. So let's try in here. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. They're separated. Oh, got it. That was lucky, man. Yeah, sometimes you can pull them down with a lucky hit, but I definitely got lucky on that one. Okay, this actually might work out. This might work out. I'm pretty sure more coming, but I'm going to I'm going to take a second to clear some corpses cuz they're going to start stacking up. We've already killed a lot. I definitely don't want to get sick. Man, that was intense. All right, we got to keep thinning the herd here. So let's see if there's any we can pull over here that are kind of easy to get to. Yeah, the, like this guy, she's by herself. We can probably take her out. Unless she's going to give us trouble. Yeah, easy. There's two more here we can probably take out. I almost missed that push. That would have been really embarrassing and bad. 
Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we drew their attention. Let's go back in and start to pull the ones that got sucked in. Maybe we can pull them out somehow. We'll have to clean these up later. All right, here comes some one-offs again. I don't really want to kill him here. Let's actually do it over here so we can be, be closer to the window. Yeah, this is Billy Bitchell. <laughs> All right, let's get that. There's one by the by the staircase. There we go. They're coming out now. Um, I'm actually going to use the door this time because I don't want to take a chance that there's somebody just waiting. There we go. Actually, it's okay. All right, good timing. They're spreading out perfectly. This is a... Oh, I missed my... I missed my shove. All right, we need to run now because they're going to catch up. But we should be good. Okay, we're... Flipping through each other, but we're getting it. There we go. Let's, um... While we're standing on a giant pile of bodies, let's eat some food. Sounds disgusting, but you do what you gotta do. It's funny, my uh my wife is a little bit of a germ freak and I'm like the exact opposite. So I'll I'll go to the park with my kids and play and all that stuff with them and then I'll come back and you know, wash your hands, wash your hands. I'll just go straight in and eat food with my hands. I'm like I don't really care. I I know it's kinda gross, but <laughs> It reminds me of that. Just like being this filthy, like like Billy Bitchell is here and just chomping on some bread. <laughs> Alright, so let's yeah, let's take a quick update. Uh we are a little over a day in. We got 159 kills. We're doing pretty well. We got a lot of injuries. I think we got scratched like six times. Luckily none of them were fatal, so we're past that point where we can get infected now. We just need to, the wounds to heal. But yeah, we're in, we're in pretty good shape. I feel good about this run, but I don't want to say anything too much past that because knowing myself, I'll get confident, cocky, and then I'll just do something stupid. Like, I'll, I'll try and show up like, yeah, you should be able to do this, and then I'll just die. Oh, this guy's going to stop this. All right. Housekeeping is good. We get all the bodies out of the, the way. We got a few in here that we need to clear out. Uh, it's too much, actually. Let's just pull them out. Yeah, I don't... Don't really want to have to do with throwing all these bodies out if we don't have to. So let's go Let's go the door. Just in case. Yep, we're actually good outside. Oh, come on. Come on, Billy. I don't know how that... Oh, crap. See, it's like stu stupid stuff like that. I feel like I should have been on top of them, but it wasn't. So, yeah, I don't know if I did it or the game fazzed a little bit. Oh, actually, you know what? We can... We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Famous last words. Yep, famous last words. We got... We got lunge done. Get out of here with that. Yeah, so I hope it's. I, I know somebody was asking earlier how come I'm not using the weapon. I hope it's pretty clear now why I don't use the weapon. There's just there's no time and stamina, and it also with all the injuries, it's just really really hard to do. I, at some point, I'll probably start training up certain skills, but in the early stages, I really want to get a nice solid clean base. Maybe get it cleared out a little bit. Are we depressed? Yeah, we're a little depressed. Let's take some antidepressants. <clears throat> and some beta blockers. We're a tad bit weepy, he says. We'll take some pills. Okay. Let's catch up on chat here for a sec. Let's see. Make sure to check if there's really a survivor house behind you. Yeah, well, I'll take a look. I, we can't go back there anytime soon anyways. It's going to be pretty rough. But yeah, hold my beer. Yeah, we luckily we so when they do the ground lunge, the ground lunges when they hit you have a very small chance to scratch. Um, we probably have a lot of holes in our jeans though. No, they don't actually. You know what we should do is put on some pants. 
But this one has holes. We, we want to get one that's not all jacked up. So let's go to our massive pile. Actually, we should probably grab... Oh, I hear a zombie coming. Can't see him, but I can hear him. So there's still a little bit of a word over there. Oh, here you go. Yeah, let's see if this, this one's got better clothes. Oh, the other thing about stomping this house is it doesn't damage anything. Firefighter pants. Yeah, these are these are in good shape. So we'll wear these. And you can have your jeans back. Okay, so we got some protection from the bites on our legs. Our feet are in good shape. What is this? A bandana. Nice. Actually... I feel like Billy Mitchell would be pretty, pretty, pretty hardcore looking with a bandana. Right, let's take this outside so we don't have to move it later. Hey, Rondaroo, what's up, man? Yeah, stomp damage is is really good with boots on, and they're they're very durable. So even if we get scratched from a, a floor biter. Um, it'll it'll at least have a chance to avoid it, and it'll just damage the boots. Let's make sure we're good in here. We are not. Take care of this before I forget. Alright, so there's no big horde over here. That's good. I was trying to get towards the window... Why did I do that? That was really stupid. I probably got bit. That's a bite. Oh no, it's not a bite. Okay. I was trying to lead him over here so that I can avoid having to drag him the whole way. That was really stupid. And yeah. yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna get infected. I mean, just by sheer volume of wounds that we've gotten, we're gonna get infected one of these days. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not gonna be lazy. I'm just gonna kill him where they are, and then I'll I'll move them by hand. It's fine. Here. At least it wasn't a bite. It probably should have been a bite since it was from the back. <clears throat> but it is what it is. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna kill them where they are. And then we'll just start dragging them back here. That was that was frustrating. I'm really glad it wasn't a bite though. I would have been pretty sad. Let me get this guy out. Yeah. Man, that'd be kind of a cool accomplishment. Imagine killing like 10,000 or 100,000 zombies with your bare hand. Maybe that's the challenge. Shoot. Uh, it's definitely doable. I mean, if I don't make stupid mistakes, I could probably get that kill count up pretty high. We're at, what, 180? Like I said, I could usually do about 150 a day, something like that. So, but man, it's, it's going to be a lot of work. We'll go one town at a time. Let's focus on getting this place cleaned up. Alright. I got nothing in here that's good. Grab these. And I know there's a small group right here that we're going to have to deal with. Oh, we also need to clear the window. Yeah, let's get rid of the broken glass. We need to clear these out too so I can use them. This is a really good spot to fight as well. I, I generally don't use it as often because you have to move the corpses a little further. Which is annoying, but not as big of a deal. So let's keep clearing the glass.
Okay, let's see. I think there's something in here. No? Okay, here they come. Alright, that's fine. We'll bait them back through this. Like I said, that's why this is really nice to have. Right, need, need to go. They're gonna lunge, as, as they always do. I don't even know what to do. I, I, I'm just play it safe. I, I don't want to get bit again. Really don't. We've. This is a good. I feel like this is going to be a good run if I just don't make stupid mistakes. So let's let's try and avoid that. Here we go. So this we're clear outside. We can stomp to our heart's content. That guy went outside. Why did you go outside? Nope. We're gonna get lunged. Yep. Might be able to get this guy before he joins. Get her before she joins. Not gonna happen. So something like this, I don't mind. Yeah, we'll just finish him off. Oh, look. <laughs> this one's really funny. I love seeing him. It reminds me of that dog from Family Guy. <laughs> the one that crawls around. <laughs> oh, that that's a good point, Matt. That's a good point. It's technically the feet, right? Not the hands. So, the, I mean, it sounds gross, right? Like, oh yeah, I killed I killed 100,000 people with my feet. With my, my nasty feet, but... <laughs> it would make a good thumbnail, though. Alright, we're not going to be able to do it. This is that outside one. Maybe we can get her by herself? No. We'd have to do it on the first shove. Alright, food's getting low again. Let's go ahead and eat some bread. Get them all out here and then we'll drag them through this window again. Oh, there's still some in here. I don't know why they do that. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad. No, he's not cooperating, unfortunately. Okay, so this is looking like we're gonna have to drag him through the, the fire department. So let's let's go to the other end. We'll get him separated a little bit. Yeah, it's man. They're just not cooperating. This guy's by himself. Let's do Oh don't do it. Yeah. But let's play it safe. Play it safe. Alright, so this should be fine. We can drag him over here. We'll get some of these one-offs. There we go. That'll slow down the herd growth a little bit. Really hope there's nobody in here. Nice, there is not. And actually, what I'd rather do is fight it outside, because this is a pretty big group. I don't want to have to clear them. Oh, crap. We, we're going to pull that other... We're going to have a third... See if we can get as many of these as we can before they join. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe half the group will stop, and then we can pick them up later. We'll have to pull them through the fire department. How many are here? Yeah, there's a few here. Perfect. Yeah, they're doing the conga line, and they're spaced out decently. So I think we can do it. Nobody's here? Oh, this is good. Okay, this is really good. We won't have to... I'm trying to avoid having to kite them as... as I want to do that as few times as possible and just keep fighting them, so. Oh, she's going to lunge, but I think we can still get her when she's down. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Only a handful on the inside to clean up as well. So we're looking pretty good here. Let's... All right, it's only two. Let's pull them outside so we don't have to shovel them. Nobody coming from the back. We're good. No, you don't. And no, you don't. Any day now, lady. Holy crap, that tracksuit's giving her powers. She's got the uh, the Adidas Chiki Briki on. Okay, let's see where we're at. Let's take a quick break here. So almost 200 kills. That's pretty good. I'm going to read a few things as an actual bare hands. Hey, Captain Vodka. More Zomboid. Yeah, heck yeah.
if you don't care about the merging that much, I'm pretty sure you can still just move garbage bins to bodies and just suppose infinite amount of bodies. Yeah, you can. It takes a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the foot thumbnail, dude. That'd be so gross, right? You have a foot thumbnail and just like thousands of dead zombies on the floor. The head stomper. That's it really is the um it, it is like the ultimate weapon for sure, just based on how much damage it is it's doing. Uh let's um Let's go replenish our water just in case. I think we're probably... Yeah, we actually ran out of one of the bottles. So we'll keep that going. Uh, we are about to run out of stamina for the first bar. So let's chill for that. All right, good there. Okay, there's just a handful, I think. Kind of doing some weird stuff here. Actually, can we get him? No, we'll we'll pull him outside. Actually, these two we probably don't need to since they're separated now. Oh, there's a third coming. Yeah, let's just do it outside. They're all. There's another one coming. And another one. Why is he not going down, dude? Why do you... I don't... Yeah, the stomp mechanic in this game is a little weird sometimes. Okay, that's not good. Run, 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 run. Nope, she's not gonna cooperate. One. We need we need to spend some time clearing bodies. They're starting to pile up, unfortunately, and yeah, they're gonna start lunging. I don't want to jump out that. Oh crap! Yeah, that was bad. Let me pull. Yeah, we can pull them over here. No. Let's see how much damage we do. Yeah, it's not that much. Just gonna burn through our axe. All right, here we go. I really hope there's nobody here. All right, nice. There we go. We got a good location. No, no, no. What are you doing? How? Yeah. See, that's so weird. Like sometimes they'll they'll lunge. Like we've been doing this the whole time, and at that location, and they don't. The lunge misses. But that one, we might have been right on the edge or something, and it and it happened. All right, we got a cheeky little one there that we probably shouldn't have gotten. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a risky one, but... They're actually cooperating. This... Oh, crap. Dude, seriously. Yeah, we're dead. God damn it, man. And that was one of those instances where I, like, wasn't lined up perfectly and it just went off to the side and... That sucks, man. <sighs> Seriously, dude. Alright, well... How did we do this time? 213? Yeah. Uh, th man, this was such a good run, too. I feel like we had a good setup. The base is mostly clean. I mean, it's not... Not completely flooded with zombies. Oh, they're coming outside. Let me guess, broken glass? Well, I guess we'll just do that a couple times, huh? Add fuel to the fire. <laughs> oh, our hands are just like shredded to bits. Right. 
That's a big deal. Let's take let's take a few out with us. I think it had 1.1 damage. Nice. Not gonna kill anything doing that damage. But then, but then if we stomp, it'll still. Yeah, it's like instant kill. We're going down in a blaze of glory. Alright, not for the Billy Bitchell. We tried. Yeah, this was this was probably the best one we had so far. Now, how did we do skill wise? Light coded got up to four. That's on date, like part was part of the way through the second day. Oh man, not bad. <clears throat> dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Yeah, I, I definitely wasn't exaggerating when, when I was saying this thing seems impossible sometimes, but a hey, new run, Billy. All right, we got how many saves? And I deleted, I think, one of them, so. That's not bad. That's not bad. We're, we're surviving a decent length. Oh, wait, no. Billy, Billy Bitchell. Let's do it, Billy. What's the challenge part? Not dying. <laughs> yeah, the challenge is not dying. Which obviously I didn't do a very good job at. Up to this point. Yeah, we, we turned the zombies up. If you look at the description, it, uh, it's it got all the, the rules. Oh, there's a key. Interesting. So basically the zombies are maxed out. There's like tens or hundreds of thousands of zombies in each town. And they group up into these giant clumps, so you can't just, like, you can't bait them around. You, you kind of have to separate them, and yeah, it's 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 tough. Let's just put it that way. It is a tough challenge. Right, let's keep going. We'll have to see if there's a car that we can actually start. It's probably not, but we'll go check. Not that it actually having a car in this doesn't really help you much because you can't physically drive it anywhere. Like there's so many zombies, they they block they block the entire road. So yeah, no, you're good, you're good. Uh, there we go. We got a nightstick, so we'll at least be able to get some maintenance going. Okay, I would like to get out sooner than later. I don't want to do any fighting in the police station. I think we're just going to go straight to the, the fire department. All right, so we can get in here. You know what? Let's take the shotgun shells, and then maybe there's a shotgun we can take. Of course. <laughs> the one time the one time I actually want to use it for sound purposes, there's no, there's no shotgun. That's all right. We can take... We can take one of the pistols, I guess. Yeah, actually, there was... There was a holster in one of these. Let's grab that so it's not taking up a bunch of space. Was it the other one? I think it was the other door. Alright, Billy, come on. Wait, am I... am I tripping? I swear I saw a holster. Maybe I didn't. Uh, either way. Oh, okay, it is loaded. I should have checked the other... I was looking for it on the bottom screen. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, which one do we have the key for? Oh, yeah, we do have the key for that. Okay, so we have the key, but it doesn't have any gas. Oh, there's a shotgun. Alright, let's put this on the back. We need to open up these shotgun shell boxes.
All right, let's start reloading. That's how accidents happen at IRL. Yeah, seriously. You gotta have good gun safety. All right, so instead of yelling, we'll just use this. Oh yeah, look at that. Come to Papa. Come to Papa Billy. <laughs> so we'll we'll kite around here for just a little bit because I don't like I said, they're gonna go to the sound, not me. We're gonna have to wait until we get more of them grouped up. We get a few kills out of it too. We don't have a ton of shells. We've got, what, 60? We fired off a, a handful of them already. Actually, we need to, oh boy. Yeah, we need to get out of this. Let's go over here where we have more room to maneuver. All right, I think this is probably good. We can start leading them away now. Let's not run back into them. They're stuck on the fence over here. Let's actually pull them to the corner so they don't get stuck on the fence. So we'll, we'll take a couple shots over here. And on the ground. got a, sh a hatchet in his back. There's no way we're getting any loot here. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I guess we uh, we kicked the hornet's nest a little bit here. Which is fine. Like I said, we want to get him grouped up nice. Actually, you know what we can do is let's, let's go shoot a round off over here and pull everything from this side and then we'll just get two these two massive groups together. Oh, come on, Billy. Put your head in the game. What are you doing? <laughs> He's like stomping, stomping absolutely nothing. Let's get a good shot off. There right, you go. All right, so now we can reunite. Or uh, yeah, look at that. This is a massive horde. All right, so we'll we'll. Spend a little bit of time pulling everybody into this field, and I think what I'm gonna do I've never pulled them straight south I'm gonna do that this time and just go straight south Yeah, I think that's I think that's the plan here. Let's just make sure we're not gonna get swallowed whole From multiple angles here. Yeah, see the problem is they're gonna go towards that sound. They're not gonna come here so we have to periodically stop and take a shot So we're gonna get the big death ball. This is a big one. Yeah, this will be a good sized, a good sized ward. So just imagine most of these we're gonna have to do by hand. <laughs> that is so crazy, man. That is so insane. Kind of stupid, but but um, kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. All right, let's get a shot off. I think we have enough to where we can justify going south. Let's do one quick lap back here and pull all these, and then we'll go south. Uh, this is going to be a little tricky, but not too bad. I mean, nothing the Donkey Kong King can't handle, right? Little fast twitch muscles here, trying to avoid getting bit. No big deal. All right, this, now that's a horde. Yeah, it, it can't even render in because there's so many. So, yeah, that's, this is what we're looking to do. Now we're going to go south. We got to make sure we're not leaving big chunks behind. So we're going to have to go left and right and kind of snake it uh, down a little bit. 
Yeah, this, this is definitely a stressful challenge because it's like... Generally doing stuff like this is fairly safe because, you know, you kind of see the risk. It's very obvious. Uh, you know, 10 minutes ago I had a really good run going and I, I died because I missed a shove. You know, it's it's the little stuff. You just always have to be on your on your guard and not get lazy when you're doing the, the easy little stuff because that's that's what's going to trip you up and get you killed. All right, let's loop back a little bit, pick up these guys, add them to the big ball. How big are we doing? Oh yeah, it's going to crash. <laughs> Don't crash. Don't crash, game. This is a good one. All right, we're going to actually shoot a couple rounds here just to in case there's anybody stuck back by the fire department. They should pull out this way. Like I said, we'll just leave we'll leave a breadcrumb trail of, of sound for them to follow. And then at some point we'll cut back across and go back to the fire department. Yeah, frame draw, exactly. Yeah, it's rendering in black. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, let's not look behind us. That's not going to do us any good. So there's a little bit of trees um, that we can hide behind here. So let's let's go ahead and use that. We'll put our shotgun away for now. We don't want to draw any more attention until maybe later. We'll probably use it at some point. Alright, so the big horde should be mostly confused and lost at this point. And we can sneak back to where we were... Um, back to the fire department. Yeah, frame drop sequence horde is big enough. Yeah, that's that's the criteria for sure. Alright, now let's... Actually, I don't like the idea of going in there because there's trees and they might be hiding behind a tree. No, we're gonna we're gonna play smart on this one. Most of the time. I can't promise the whole time, but I'm gonna make a big effort here. Right, let's go ahead and organize our inventory a little bit here while we got a clear Yeah, look, there's like nothing here. Look at that. We cleared all those zombies. Actually, are they Yeah, there's a few of them coming back, but that's not a big deal. We'll we'll cut across and then they won't make it all the way back. We should be in pretty good shape here. Uh, let's go get let's go get our water secured because we are quite thirsty. Okay, so it's not looking too bad here. There we go. See so stop. Oh boy. Okay, so there's there's a decent size. Yeah, we can't take all that. This is too much. Um, we could go through the windows though. I think we can. Let's try it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, that one's good. You know, we, we may not have pulled the ones from the back though, so we might have to do another small pull here. I don't really want to this early though. Okay, here we go. Let's let's see if we can get. We're gonna use strikes instead of stomps, just because when there's this many, you kind of have to. Well, fortunately, there's not much we can do about it. And I'm worried about them being on that side, so that's not gonna work. And if we strike, it's just that's gonna take forever. It's not gonna be worth it. So yeah, we gotta we gotta still fight in the the windows. That's bad. All right, here we go. Now we hopefully this spread them out a little bit. All right, we're gonna have to stomp. It's just not doing it. Yeah, like I said, it, it's it's a lot slower. Uh, it's a lot harder. You just don't do as much damage with that. The axe is okay to, to strike from the floor, but I still feel like the your boot is like the strongest weapon in the game. So we're hungry, we're thirsty. All 
Let's try and spread them out a little bit. Hopefully there's not a big horde in here. It doesn't look like it, so we actually should be in decent shape. Alright, let's clear this out so we can use it. Alright, here we go. I don't want to run. I'm, I'm not going to, unless it's like a massive crowd, I'm not going to run. I'm going to try and fight it. Like I said, I need to get I need to get more practice, obviously, because I keep losing. I need to get more practice doing this. No, 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 dude, stop! There you go. Oh, he's gonna stomp. Oh, dude, what are you talking about? Are you serious? Okay, it's just a scratch, but that was... Okay, I'm gonna call BS on that. I was definitely targeting him. Alright, so attacks are off the table now. We have to use our foot, because anytime you take damage, it just hinders your, your, um, your damage output severely with weapons. No, of course, I can't get a second one in. I'm gonna smack him a few times. Just because he's already really low. Man, that's so disappointing. Like I said, it, clearing out one group, two groups, I guess it's not that crazy, but when you put it all together and you have to do it for, you know, 50 hours or something, I don't know, man. It is so hard to just be perfect in this game, because it's so easy to make these silly mistakes. Snuck it. Hit from behind. Let's sneak in here and see if we can get an axe. Yeah, and it's good quality too. We'll have to take the shotgun down. Let's just drop all the firearms. We're not going to need it for quite a while. Alright, we're starting to stack up some ins inside corpses. Oh. Through the window, please. There we go. Let's see if there's any food here. We're getting hungry. Nope. Our shoes are in good shape. Okay, let me read a little bit. Survive similar. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Uh, no, the map is yeah, the map's pre-made, but there there's a lot of mods that add new maps too. If you don't like this one, but it's it's a huge map too. Yeah, the the left arm, it's like right on the shoulder, but it just because it adds damage, it, it reduces your. Your combat effectiveness. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, because it wasn't it wasn't like a deep laceration or anything, so the the damage wasn't that crazy. these out before we get too busy because I know there's we, we dragged a pretty big group through that side I'm I'm pretty sure there's still people here wait what uh, <laughs> did not mean to throw him back in here right, let's get rid of these You know, we didn't get a, a, a watch yet either. We should probably get one of those. Just keep tabs on when it's going to start getting dark. Seriously? Just want them all to be dead. We can move on. 
Is the zombie mount limited? Yeah, so this is, in this challenge, it's a little bit different. Uh, this one, I had him spawn in at a huge amount of zombies. So normally, there's a lot. Like, even in the base game, there's still a pretty good amount. Like, like maybe a couple thousand in this town. But I turned it up to 16x, so it's... Um, there's there's probably close to 100,000 or more in just this small town that we're going to have to deal with. But I would Well, maybe not 100k. It's probably in the ten. For sure, it's in the tens of thousands. It potentially could be hundreds of thousands, although I'm not positive on that. Yeah, and the, and the respawn's off. Yeah, otherwise it would be literally impossible, and it wouldn't actually be fun either, because you just... There's, there's no progress. And I need to find a water bottle or something we can use. Uh, and I think somebody asked why we're throwing the zombies outside. So if you have a lot of zombies in one small area, um, I don't remember the number. I think it's like eight or ten or something like that. But if you get too many in a certain area, it'll actually start getting you sick. And if you get too sick, you'll end up dying. You can't recover from it. So you got to be careful with that. And when you're indoors, the sickness thing spreads throughout the entire building. So it's it's like ten times worse inside. So I'm just trying to be mindful of that, because we may not have time to move the zombies later. And I want to make sure that we can actually deal with them. Oh, this room is untouched. Interesting. Alright, so there's... For sure there's some stuff in here. Let's just clean up the glass, though, so we can use... We can use it. I saw one. Let's make sure there's nothing in here to surprise us. Alright, here we go. He's going to use the door. Alright, anybody got a watch? Still no watches. We gotta get some food here. I yeah, I don't wanna deal with that. That debuff is pretty brutal. Alright, let's clear the rest of this out real quick. Open up all these doors. Oh crap. That scared me. Yeah, that legitimately scared me. I mean when you open one door and there's nothing and then all of a sudden there's two on you, that's that's a weird one. Oh, we'll drop these out here. Still no watch. All right, let's get this window opened up so we can use it later. I don't think there's anything else we have to clear out yet. We could bust the rest of the windows, but it's not that big of a deal. Let's focus on one thing at a time. We have to clear the upstairs. Since we didn't spawn here, they could technically be zombies up here. And there would probably be at least a small handful. Yeah. Alright, room by room. Good. There's one in there too, it sounds like. Upstairs is mostly clear. We gotta check a couple more spots. Also, I'd like to open up these windows in case we ever run up here and we just get cornered and stuck. We're gonna want to have an escape route, and we will not have time to open up the door. Uh, sorry, not that with the door. The window. We won't have time to open up the window. We just need to go. So, having that already done is is a pretty big help. All right, let's top off our water. 
We got a little bit of food we gotta get. Sounds like there's something in here. Unless it's maybe they're downstairs. Yeah, it might be downstairs then, actually. Okay, so upstairs is clear. We got a safe place to sleep and eat and all that stuff. Not that it's all that helpful, but... It's better than not having it. So now we need to use up all our fresh food first. The stuff that's going to spoil. And we'll definitely use the orange soda as well, because... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna want to have a water bottle, so we'll eat that. Uh, let's eat some of these fruits, and then we'll grab some snacks. Marshmallow that doesn't really give you that much, unfortunately. Yeah, we're we've got a few things to survive off of, but it's not much. We're definitely going to need to go out and, and grab some food at some point. But this will this will tide us over for a few days at least. That should be enough to, to get things sorted. Okay, so that's good. And how are we looking on... 66 kills. We don't know what time it is because we don't have a watch. There's got to be a watch after 66 kills. That's kind of ridiculous. Let's go look. I, I probably just m missed it. Yeah, there's a watch. Okay. All right, we got company. The only two we can solo these guys. Right, there were some other things on here I wanted. The screwdriver for sure. We won't worry about electronics yet. I don't even know if we're going to survive long enough on this one. But let's give it a good go. Oh, shotgun shells. Nice. We'll definitely take that since we do have a shotgun. And I think what we'll do, when we need to go outside to get food, we'll use the shotgun and just pull them somewhere that, you know, we'll, we'll shoot beside one of the house that we want to go into to pull everybody out, and then we'll go in later and hopefully be able to loot it. All right, so there's some good stuff here. We got multiple fire axes. There was one in there, one on the shelf, and then the one in our hand. So we've got a, we've got a handful of them if we need to use them. Oh, you know what? Let's also check and see what do you got in here. Sometimes these fire trucks are pretty good in the police cars. Oh, locked. Oh, wow. Not not good, but they are there. Let's bust the window. Oops, what am I doing? Uh, V. What am I thinking? Move over to seat one, and then we can unlock. Check the glove box. Oh, nice. There's a rosewood one. Yeah, so there's a... Uh... Actually, we'll hang on to that. We can go to the uh, the safe house at some point. Some of these look like they're in really good shape too, so if we're fortunate enough to survive long enough and, and get, you know, some... a key or something. Uh, why did I remove the broken glass? So you can't jump through a window with broken glass without getting injured. Um, you have to take the glass out. So we'll be hopping through the windows a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And we don't want to take massive wounds every time we do it. So, and always, if you're going to remove broken glass, make sure you have a weapon of some sort in your hand. So, screwdriver, axe, hammer, whatever. If you do it with your hand, you're going to cut your hands up. So, just make sure you got something on you. So, this is really good. We got plenty of room to breathe. I think we need to go find ourselves some kind of water container. Oh, no, we have a water container. What am I talking about? We got to drink our soda. 
Yeah, drink that soda. It's healthy for you. Beta blocker. Yeah, I had some on the last one. I had two full things and then... Yeah, that didn't... Didn't survive. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get it. Yeah, or gloves. Correct. Yep, yep. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time back here if there's only one or two zombies. It's not a big deal. Let's actually... Man, we did such a good job with that shotgun clearing zombies out. Look, there's like nothing here. Usually we're just swamped already by day, uh, not even day one. We're 12 hours in. We got 74 kills. That's pretty good. We can do some fence fighting here. A little sprint stomp. Never hurt anybody. Let's start working our way over this way. Maybe we can get some food. We don't have a ton of food there. Yeah, that's a massive group. That's not going to work. Actually, let's make a little noise so that it draws more. And then we'll try and split them up a little bit by going through the, the trees. Maybe they won't all follow us. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so here comes a group. Yeah, it looks like they're all pretty much following anyways. Hey, Tibby. Uh, the challenge... What's the challenge? So, normally there's, like, a lot less zombies. So, the challenge here is just to survive. It's it's really, really hard because there's so many zombies. So, my goal is to s survive as long as I can. Ideally, I'd clear out the whole town that we start in. But I don't know if that's going to be possible. And then if we survive uh, and clear out that first town, then it becomes clearing out the rest of the world. Or the rest of Kentucky, because it's it's basically the map of um, a chunk of Kentucky. Come on, get here, please. Stop. Oh, I didn't do it. That was actually really stupid. If that, if that ground biter would have um, lunged at me and, and hit, I would have been dead there for sure. We would have gotten bit. All right, that's all right. We'll slow down. Take a little more conservatively. Yeah, I see they're starting to do it. Yeah, but, you know, one day at a time, we're going to try and rack up as many kills as we can. Here we go. This looks good. Now, there's probably still a laggard somewhere in there. No, it looks like we actually got them all. Let's clear out the zombie corpses so we don't get sick. Yeah, normally, just so you know, normally the game isn't like this. It, I mean, it's it's still pretty hard, but this is like... Yeah, this is significantly harder than what it normally is, so... How do you play as Billy Mitchell without cheesing? Yeah, that's the challenge, I guess. I'm thinking I'll, I'll reserve it for maybe later in the in the the run when I do the heavily edited video. Maybe I'll I'll do a little cheat towards the end just to to stay true to the character, you know. But I don't I don't want to I don't want to mess up the um, the challenge. I want it to be legit for the for the, the hardest part, anyways. <laughs> Billy Mitchell. And this is Mil this is Billy Mitchell, by the way. It's a little different. Oh, we might. This is getting really sketchy for sure. I should I should back out. Oh no, we got it. Okay, good. That was that was actually really bad. All right, we gotta keep drinking our soda pop. Okay, what else are we doing? We got 91 kills now, 13 hours in, so we're actually at a really good pace. Oh, 325? Dang, that's early. What's up, Nam? Yeah, that's an early start to the day. Okay, I think there's... I, I hear some still over here. I think we didn't clear everything, so let's go just take a peek. There's probably some, some zombies just milling about in the corners randomly, but 
Let's go find out. It is getting dark, so it's going to be a little harder to see. And, you know, I, I'm going to clear these out. I don't think it's enough noise. I don't think it's enough noise to attract the horde across the street. So we should be fine. Yeah, so it's it's not... Breaking glass, for whatever reason, isn't that loud in this game. I think there's something here, though. Grandma in her bath towel. Get some furniture. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't need any paint. We're going to paint the walls in our special zombie color. You know what we should do? Let's actually smash these as well. You never know. This office is kind of a death trap, but in like an, an extreme emergency, we might need to use it. Is there a bottle? Sometimes there's empty bottles in the trash cans. Nothing good there. How are our shoes looking? Yep, no holes in the shoes yet. Okay, let's let's go around the perimeter and clear up the stragglers, and then I think we'll call that a successful day. Yeah, there's like nothing here. There's only little one-offs here and there, but. Is there a list of your quality life mods? I, I don't have a list of them. There's there's a few, but uh, mostly, like, I've got one that displays the XP. I've got one for... Um, oh my god, I just missed. There's one, this one for proximity looting. So, like, if there's... Because there's going to be hundreds stacked of zombies in the hundreds, and it's going to be pretty impossible to search them. So I, I added that one. Uh, the weapon condition modifier, or the yeah, the weapon condition indicator. I added that one. The fuel side, the fuel door side indicator. Just little stuff. Yeah, nothing, nothing big that's gonna change the game or the the challenge, but um, little stuff like that. Okay, well we're not tired enough to sleep yet necessarily, but I guess we could. Let's see if there's. What else can we do here to clean up? We can get rid of... We can get rid of some of these other windows. Just to safety proof it. I don't really know what else we can do. And if we sleep now, we're it will wake up and it's going to be... I don't know, 3 or 4 o'clock. So that's not really worth it. We'll wait a little bit longer. I guess we'll take one quick lap around the back side. There's a few stragglers here. Alright, nothing good there. Yeah, I don't think there's much else to do uh, other than just keep fighting. We, we got everything cleared out. We've got our little base secured. This is really good. I think having that shotgun early on is, is actually pretty good. Just just for the noise, not so much for the damage. I mean, it doesn't matter. We can't kill that many with the shotgun right now because there's, there's just too many. But Oh, how did you get in here? What the heck? Yeah, I'm curious where that guy came from. Okay, let's let's go up. <laughs> At the end of the edited version, go in and turn off God mode. That'd be that'd be interesting. That'd be a funny twist, huh? <laughs> Yeah, 
Billy Mitchell. All right, let's go sleep. Now we gotta wait a little bit. We don't have, yeah, we don't have the beta blockers. All right, let's finish off the, the orange soda and then we'll fill it up with water in the morning. Slightly panicked, come on. All right, there we go. Oh, nice, 520 is pretty good. So it'll be bright enough to, to do some combat. Right, we're getting toilet water first because that's the yummy water. So we got water, we got a little bit of food, we got a weapon. Our injury is mostly healed. I don't want to take it off just yet because it might still be bleeding, but we're not getting the damage modifier for it, so I think we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, drinking soda just for sleeping. <laughs> Uh, did you get to a kingdom yesterday? Yeah, so we actually did Empire. Yeah, we were able to start the Empire. Um, I'm going to probably redo that because there was there was like zero hiccups in that one. So the, it's, it's kind of hard to learn from a, a run where there's nothing bad happening. Um, I was able to form the Empire just after 900 AD. I mean, it was insane how fast it was compared to what I'm, I'm used to. Uh, I did the kingdom was formed in like seven years and the empire was formed in what 67 to it was like 903 or 902 when I had the empire formed so pretty pretty fast uh we didn't have to deal with succession because the main character didn't die yet the starting character so yeah I, I'll redo it I have to redo it it's kind of a shame but I mean it's like the ideal run <laughs> he drinks G fuel right before bed yeah we didn't even brush our teeth, man. This guy's not going to be able to eat in a, in a couple years. His teeth are going to be rotten. Rotten like his logic. All right, let's see how much damage you do. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to try a new method here. There, and then we get it down to two, and then we can stomp pretty easily. So if we have to use a weapon, it can help us get the crowd down to a manageable size. Two, two is perfect, three is doable, but it's kind of annoying sometimes if they don't want to go down. There we go, we'll clip through her body to stomp. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked at how empty this is. I guess we did such a good job drawing that crowd out. Uh, let's do a little bit of fence fighting. I want to get some practice here on that. We'll do it safely, though. So what I like to do is bait them out. She didn't go for the lunge, so that's not good. We want them to lunge. Let's go ahead and do this. Actually, we can do it from here. Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> okay. The one in the back, I guess. Out of there and we'll come back now we can do that so that's that's pretty reasonable it does use up a lot of stamina or a lot of endurance like if we just did foot stomps we would have used less than half of that but it's okay like i said i kind of want to get some practice in doing different types of combat because we do have a fast swinging axe, so if we need to clear out zombies faster than what the foot stomp can do, we're, we're going to have to rely on that. So it'll be good. It'll be good to have both. There are beta blockers near the truck? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go back there and check it. Get on the ground, you little pump. Oh, uh, really? That was good. Alright, so that's that little group. We'll clear out the rest of this fence and then we'll work our way back to the truck. <laughs> Uh-oh. I know. I want famous last words, right? I want to get some practice. That's what happened last time, and then I got bit. It's alright, this time. It, yeah, like I said, I, I gotta get better. I gotta get better at this game somehow. 
Uh, let's not take the shotgun yet. Uh, base plan, Rosewood, probably just the fire station. I don't, it doesn't really matter. We're not going to be at base that long because we're just going to have to be out fighting like 24 7. Let's see, there, there's some other good spots that we could use as well. It's gonna take the butter knife. It's like we'll, we'll wait till we get a backpack before we start taking better stuff. Now these fences are nice because these ones, to the best of my memory, they don't break no matter how many times they go over it. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure they don't. Oh, he didn't lunge. Why didn't you lunge? Oh, nice. He jumped over, so now we can give me one. All right, we're gonna get some good practice in here. Now he can still, so that's interesting. So with the fence, it's a lot more dangerous than doing the window. The window, they don't do that as often. That weird lunge. Like they still lunge on the window, but they don't hit you. But when they lunge on the fence, it looks like maybe it depends on what tile you're on or what tile they originate their lunge. Oh, that's not gonna work. All right, there's only two left. We can we can shove. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. We didn't take much. Uh, we didn't take any damage. Hey, Cry History, how you doing, man? Yeah, we're we're having a good run this time. So, well, I said that last time too. <laughs> I'm hoping we we keep a good run going. Now we are gonna have to deal with calorie issues. We only have. Uh, I think it's, I think we start with 80 kilo. Yeah. So we're, we're probably going to be malnourished a lot of this, um, this run because there's just not going to be a whole lot of food to get. Oh, that's a big crowd. There's a big crowd there too. Okay. Well, no time like the present, right? Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to get the, the beta blockers. Let's go do that. Let's go get the beta blocker so that we don't have as much of a, um, a debuff on us. First aid. Yeah, there's not much in there. Is he ignoring me? Oh, sorry. It's, it's hard to recheck because on the, um, when you're doing a challenge like this, if you, if I look away from the screen for like half a second at the wrong time, I'm going to get, I'm going to get bit. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll check it right now. Uh, Stalker Gamma, yeah, that game looks fun. I haven't, I tried to download it and install it once, but I had some issues. Um, hello, I need help with Bandlord. Uh, type out your question, man. I, I yeah, you got my attention, but now I, I gotta, I can't hold up the whole stream just for one question. So type it out, and then I'll, I'll try and get to it. All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna have to do some fence fighting here. Let's so get the. The lungers, if they lunge out decently, we can get them. All right, here we go. The nice thing about the ground attacks like that is they also don't get confused with the shoves. So, lunge, please. Oh, no. Okay, not, not bad. So, fifth fighting looks like it's going to be the, the fastest way to do it, but it's going to use. It's going to use some durability of the weapon, unfortunately. What the heck was that? Went like right through him. I'm going to get some. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Yeah, look at that. We didn't even kill this whole crowd and we were already moderately exhausted, so that's that's a big problem. Yeah, it's just not... I still prefer the foot stomps. I feel like they're the most effective way to fight these gigantic hordes. Assuming you can get them on the ground, that's the hard part. Alright, let's chill for a sec. 
Do you press alt to do ground attacks? I do, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Connor. I, I said, uh, ask the question. I don't see the question, so it is what it is. Do we have anything back at our base? Not really. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Okay, here. There's the question. I'm a vassal for Batania. I watch videos the time. I was hoping you can help me. I can't kill Keldog. It let me. I tried killing in battle when he's captured and it won't let me. Yeah, they, they've patched some of those things out. So your best bet is, is to let him die of old age. Um, I think they still have the prison break thing, but it's kind of hard to get prison breaks now. I, I, I've had a, a bit of an issue with getting them to actually put the person in prison. And then even when they're in prison, they're kind of hard to... They're hard to break in sometimes. So this one is oh, really far, so that's not gonna help. West Point, all right. Yeah, I would say just survive as long as you can, but um, yeah, it's kind of RNG whether they, they survive or not. Oh, nice, trauma bag, that's actually not bad. Yeah, I, if you can get them locked up in jail for sure, I would try that. That might be your best bet. But again, I haven't really been able to do that. It's, I've had, I've struggled with it in the recent patches. So, uh, I don't think we need to move in these other ones. This is fine, I think. Yeah, we'll take it like that. He stays back and never fights. Yeah, that's tough. You can you could try and kill him yourself if you have a, a ranged weapon. Use some javelins or a bow and arrow. You can shoot him in the head. I don't know if they patched that, though. It used to be the case where you can actually kill him that way, but the other problem there is it's a it's a 1% chance. It's like a 2% chance on the base to actually kill them, but if they have good armor and they have some decent medicine skill, then it's, it's even less likely that they'll die, so... It's it's very low chance, but it's possible. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, really don't want to have to use the ground strikes with the axe because it just uses so much stamina. But maybe we we can use a mix of the two. Like we use that when we have to. Oh my god. All right, let's let's be a little bit more efficient with our endurance here. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, she didn't die. What the heck? Are you kidding me? She had like a, a fingernail of health. <laughs> what the heck was that? Alright. Um, yeah, I don't really care about picking all this stuff up just yet. Man, I'm shocked these guys aren't really coming back here. This is really bizarre. I'm wondering if we just took them so far that they don't have a way back. Uh, is it still possible to get the leader killed during prison breaks? I believe it is. I haven't tested it on the recent patch, but that's that's been the most reliable way to, to get them killed. I would say if you can get them in prison, but then getting them in prison and then getting into that prison when you're not you know, allied to that faction is, is not an easy task. So, uh, castles don't let you into their, if you're, unless you're allied, they won't even let you in unless you're clan tier three. So keep that in mind too. All right, we gotta d deal with this guy first. And then swing to this lady. All right, we're looking good. We're looking really good here. We don't even have to use the windows. All right, there we go. Now, we could use a little bit of food. Let's keep eating our chips. That did like nothing, man. Yeah, that's fine. All right, another beta blocker I think we need. Okay, so they, yeah, there's still some big groups spawning in here. 
We'll have to deal with them. Uh, if we're going to deal with four, let's just deal with all of them. I don't want to have to keep pulling in these tiny groups. Let's do it. Hopefully there's no zombie. Oh, there it. Look at that. Thankfully, he wasn't even looking. That could have been bad. Alright, they're not cooperating. So let's go out and back in. Dude, what is going on? I'm telling you, man, the, the targeting in this game is the thing that infuriates me the most. It kind of reminds me of Kingdom Come Deliverance, how, you know, the combat can be good. It can also be really, really janky. Let's try and pull him back in. Oh, like I tried to fake me out. All right, we should be good now. This is a very manageable group. Oh crap, we might be dead here. Yep, we're dead. We're dead. God damn it, man. That was such a stupid spot to do it to, dude. <sighs> gotta be kidding me, man. One day, 100. Yeah, so like I said, we're getting about 150 a day. Dude, what the heck, man? It's so weird because they're like on the ground and they sh. Uh, anyways, that's fine. Um. I'm curious, <clears throat> like I said, I, I'm not planning on actually doing this run as the challenge. I'm mostly just practicing because I don't, I don't think I have the skill to do it yet. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna load back into this one and just replay it again with the zombies already cleared out, so we don't have to keep doing that. Because it takes, it takes a good, you know, ten minutes to just set up a good run, and I don't want to have to keep doing that. It's not that fun to watch, I'm sure. So let's get back there. We'll, we'll get Billy's equipment back from Billy. <laughs> Wait, where are we? Oh no. Okay, so we're, we're pretty much right where we need to be. We're right there. We'll, we'll get that fire axe from him. Yeah, my, seriously, confidence. It, I don't even know if it was that. It's. I know, it, it's weird. I feel like I can do the same thing 10 times, and then there's always that chance that 1 out of 10 that the game's going to do something that you don't expect. Like, when, you, when you're when you when you're stomping from the window, they will lunge, but they generally don't hit you because you're behind them. But then, dude, sometimes they just... I don't know, man. They just, like, teleport. Or, or they'll, they'll magically hit you, even though the last several times they didn't. So, I, yeah, it's kind of weird. What is going on with my animation? He's like spazzing out. <laughs> Alright, come on. Stay on the ground, dude. Alright, where is Zombie Billy Mitchell? There he is. There's, <laughs> there's zombie. It was such a small group too. It was like four, four zombies. But it's crazy. It's enough to do it. That's all it takes. We shall do battle, zombie Billy. Okay, let's take everything back. Must have dropped the weapon outside. I'll have to go find that. I don't even know if there's any key. I don't think we even got any keys, actually. Let's uh, rip this up. Oh no, we did. That's right, we did get the key. We got a couple car. Uh, we got a car key and then something else. But it's not really all that useful. So we got bit. I think it was over here, right? Yeah, there's the axe. I see it. 
All right, we're back in action as if nothing happened. We'll just, uh, we'll edit that part out, you know? We'll have to edit our numbers a little higher too. <laughs> no, man, why do we have to do that? So stupid. But like I said, I mean, if we can get this far, we could probably get, you know, to a week. And if you can get to a week, you should be able to get to a, a month and so on and so forth. I, there's no real hard spike where it should get increasingly difficult other than maybe when the food completely runs out. If we haven't found any other stuff like for trapping or farming. But I, I don't think it'll be too bad. Oh yeah, we gotta take our beta blockers when we go outside. Yeah, like this is a mess, man. Dead everywhere. Alright, let's um I, I feel pretty confident, especially with this start. Using the shotgun and drawing them away. I'm pretty confident that this is doable now. I don't I don't know that it's impossible. I, I think it's very unlikely and it's gonna take several several attempts, but I think it's doable because this is a pretty empty, pretty empty part of the map now. And then we can start working our way towards some of the other buildings. Like I would love to get into some of the houses. All right, let's not drag them all the way up there. Let's just do some fence fighting. guy's gonna lunge. There we go. Alright, so not too bad. Let's actually rest for a little bit. Yeah, we'll chill. And we'll keep working our way that way. I think what we could do is go to some of these houses up here on the right. There's just a handful of them. Yeah, let's do some exploring. Man, look at how empty this is. This is so bizarre, considering how many there were. Yes, <laughs> this is a true Billy Mitchell run. Yeah, we're going to fabricate. <laughs> it's funny. That would be a pretty cool story arc, though. You get to the end, and then uh, you disclose the, the, the splice that you did. <laughs> Alright, we may have to back up here. Oh, I don't like that. That guy glitched. He's probably going to bite me from the floor. Uh, yeah, it's too many. I don't really want to use the durability in our axe, either. Ooh, maybe we can sneak. We can get a little sneaky stomp here and there. Okay, I almost died there. I gotta find a better way to do this. Man, I guess we could just smack him. Okay, I guess we could just smack him a little bit. You know, we're at the fence anyways. Let's just do it. And I like to be in the corner. What? Do how? That's what I'm saying, right? All right. Yeah, I'm just. There's something I don't understand because it is that half the time they get they miss their um, their ground lunge and then the other half they definitely don't and I don't I don't know yeah so like that guy I guess it's the thing that's tricky about this game is it's it's off of squares and even though it looks like you should be on able to attack I think it takes the square that you're from even though you're like you're on the edge of the square. Um, I think there's a mode where you can look at the squares, but I, I, I suspect it probably has something to do with the squares. Uh, St yeah, Star, I got this one on Steam. It's pretty cheap, too. I think it's like 25 bucks or 30 bucks or something. It's it's not uh, like a full-price AAA. 
And you'll you'll probably get ten times more gameplay out of this one than you would a triple A title too. We gotta get him soon, otherwise we're gonna have to run. Oh nice, the one tap. You know what I should do is I could bring a backup weapon, or actually I have a backup weapon. Let's use the uh, let's use the nightstick for when we're fighting. But we need to if there's like four of them and when I don't really feel like running all the way back to a fence, we could just use that. It's just tough because we're gonna the, these weapons are gonna run out really quickly compared to how many zombies there are. So we just kind of got to use them sparingly. Oh boy, okay, this is this is a legit horde right here. For a group. Hey, Papa Oxy, nice. Nice. Good luck with that, man. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. A lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're gonna get lunched, for sure. Here we go, there we go. Now we're we're getting some hits in. Let's go back over. We'll give them some distance so they can lunge. They don't want to lunge. There we go. Alright, this is actually quite effective. Oh, we're gonna get... Oh, crap. Go, 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 Billy. Go, Billy. <laughs> Alright, that was bad. That was pretty bad. Now our exhaustion is pretty high, so our, our yeah, that it's tough, man. We're we're not gonna be able to really hit him effectively, so we'll probably just have to do some stomping here. Uh, it just does it does no damage. Right, we can use another beta blocker, I think. Okay, well, like I said, any weapon can be good if you're hitting them on the ground. So we just gotta bait them into attacking when they're on the ground. If the game will let us. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, they're gonna let us do it? Nice. Nice, that actually let us get away with a lot there. We probably shouldn't have been able to. Uh, <laughs> we shoved them back over the fence. All right, we'll finish them off. All right, that was a that was a good battle. That I felt good about that. Uh, when you're resting and you want to get it quickly, hold shift and you'll get up really fast. So you can squeeze a little extra time out of it before you have to get up again. So just make sure you're resting when you're holding shift. Or, sorry, other way around. Hold shift when you're resting. Uh, let's go ahead and eat a little bit of can of oats. So we don't have that debuff on us. And we're still working our way back up to that house. So good. Did I die? Yeah, I, I died. <laughs> I, um, instead of restarting, though, I just went back to the same... I created a character. Like I said, th this won't be the ultimate challenge run. I'm just trying to get some practice in at this point, so... Um, trying to see... How we can expand. It looks like we can maybe clear little pockets of neighborhoods. Like this one, we don't have to pull that whole horde. We can probably just get this small group and then sneak into a window, get all the food out of there. And then that'll... That'll help quite a bit here. Uh, they're gonna start. 
but how, how, dude? They're all lunging from the same distance. I don't. That's what I don't get. It's just not consistent. Like I didn't move at all. They all lunge from the same, from the same fence. Two of them missed, and one of them hit. I don't. I don't get that. Where's uh, Where's Retinara when you need him? We We need somebody to explain this. <laughs> Alright, actually we don't even need to rest because we didn't use that much stamina, so let's not touch the door in case it's alarmed. Oh yeah, they got a lot of goodies in here. Okay, mostly just interested in the food. And the can opener, that'll help. coming. Two more. We can use a lot of this stuff actually. Yeah, that'll be very helpful. Yeah, mixed veggies. So we got a decent amount of food from there. We do need to put some stuff in our backpack, though. I think probably the canned food we're gonna save to the end. We really need to eat all the dried stuff first, or the um the stuff that's fresh. Yeah, this pasta is gonna be gross, but oh, we can't eat it because it's not cooked. Interesting. Yeah, what if we add vegetables? Does it let us eat it? <laughs> it didn't really give us that much food though. Okay, so this is probably just a waste. Let's just pour it on the ground. Dang, that sucks. Alright, well. No big deal. We got our foods we got our food sorted at least. Okay, get out of my There we go. So this house. It's pretty much clear. Did I even bring a pen? I did. Okay, cool. And then let's... Oh, that's another mod that I have. Uh, I cha You can adjust the UI on your map. Because the, the default, you can't. You just have these gigantic X's everywhere. It makes your map look really hideous. So. That's a pretty cool mod to have. But we need to get there. Nice, those two are done. Uh, weapons? We could grab some, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. We'll grab some of the, the decent blunt ones. Wood glue is never a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think we need too much there. Holy crap, dude. That's such a big horde. Alright, see if we can draw just a handful of them at a time so we don't have to run too much. Alright, now they're gonna start doing their little cheaty stuff. They're gonna Billy Mitchell us. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it when the zombies just clip through stuff. We're just gonna call it the Billy Mitchell. We don't want to get Billy Mitchell too often. Well, that was really good, actually. Alright, so... I guess a combination of weapon... Fence... And foot is going to be what we're going to need. Alright, let's try and get these guys up here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? Go, dude. What are you doing? Ah, oh, they got bit again. I, that, that's what I'm talking about, man. Sometimes this game can be really frustrating. Because we, we I, I feel like we were definitely in the clear there. 
There's only a group of three. We were so far away and he freaking grabbed us. Let's try it again. Same map. Yeah, we got Billy. <laughs> we got Billy Mitchell for sure. We gotta make that a thing. If they're able to lunge at you. Yeah. It's... There's something about it where... It's like you're on the edge of a square where... If you move like a millimeter to the left, they'll just clip through you. And if you move to the right, you're fine. So I... Yeah, I don't... It's something like that. It's, it's gotta be something like that. It's it's weird. Oh, there's old Billy. Let's try and get the axe off of him so we can actually use it. Okay, no big deal. We'll make it work. Oh, no, we're gonna get... We're gonna need Billy Mitchell again. <laughs> Shut him down. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, it, it's like when they're mid-animation, they're they're immune. I think maybe it's a mix of that, too. That could have something to do with it if they're mid-animation. But you know what the, the, the easy fix is? To just not do that. Not put yourself in a spot where they can actually pull that off. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's still my fault. I should I should learn from my, uh, learn from my mistakes. It's just... It's tough because then it... Oh, I'm just gonna do it. They weren't lunging at all for a while there. Oh, yep, there it goes again. There it goes again. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Such a big distance. That. We can we can try and merry-go-round kite around this. So we'll get some practice in here, and then uh, at some point we'll go for the real deal. Right, we got to worry about stamina. Yeah, our endurance is starting to go. Facing the wrong way and still hit. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, man. I wish we could hit when we're facing the wrong way. Yeah, it's too close. That was too close. Too close. Yeah, we definitely got bit. All right, let's practice. Well, Billy bleeds out. Yeah, unfortunately we're not going to be able to get any damage done because we have so much pain going on. And there she goes. Oh. Uh, look like you're back against the window fence. You shouldn't be hit by... Yeah, I know. You shouldn't, but... it's Like I said, it's like maybe 70 or 80% of the time it, it goes through you and you're fine. And then there's always that that small percent chance that they're going to snag you. And if, if there happens to be somebody else nearby, they're just going to get you. So I think you use a weapon over the stop is worthwhile in the long run for the maintenance. So uh, Elias, the thing with maintenance is as long as you have a weapon equipped and you push people, you will get, um, you'll get maintenance skill. So yeah, you can actually level maintenance without wearing any of your weapons out. You just have to have it equipped and push people. So that's, that's one reason why I want to always have something in my hands at all times. So we can at least get the, um, Get the XP for it. Uh, I'm going to do one more on this one. And then... If it doesn't good work out, it doesn't work out.
Oh, we're not really that close, unfortunately. Alright, let's do something really stupid. Let's go through the, the woods. Keep running, keep running, and you'll be fine. Yeah, okay, here we are. So we gotta go down a little bit further. Yeah, I, I guess there's there's gotta be like uh, some give and take, right? There's always gonna be risk involved, especially when you're fighting this big of a group. But I guess there needs to be a little bit more cost-benefit analysis involved to which risks are worth it. And it seems like the ones on the fence are usually not worth it but it's so hard because like the whole strategy for surviving this pretty much relies on on fence fighting so i i don't know how to get around it other than to just take it slower you know maybe only do the window so keeping your back up against the window and letting him jump through you that one works really well the fence is a bad idea with that then so the fence fighting has got to be separated Going after the ones that lunge, I think, is, is the way to go. Yeah, again and again, man. I've I've probably practiced this or tried to get this challenge to work for... I would probably say about 50 hours. This is this is me working at it for 50 hours. This is as good as I can get it so far, so... Yeah, there's, there's a lot of work to be done, for sure. So, fence fighting. We're going to let him lunge. We'll get the ones that are lunging. Wow. Wow. That's a hell of a lunge, man. <laughs> that is a hell of a lunge. Is that... No. Where's... Where's fake Billy? Oh, there's... There's our axe. You know what? I think the axe is a bad idea for this. Because it just uses so much uh, endurance. Whereas this... This one-handed is not going to use nearly as much. And it's still, as long as you hit the crit, it's still going to do the, the damage enough to kill. Yeah, look at that. It's perfect. Okay, so I think I think that's the way to go. The axe is good when you need speed. But I would rather save the durability for, like, chopping wood and stuff. So let's go back again. Let them lunge. We'll get the lungers. Nope, no lungers that time. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be disciplined. We're only going after lungers. So if they lunge, we'll go after them. No lunders, what the heck? Alright, what about these? Oh, there goes the fence. The fence just busted. Alright, we're not going to be able to get it. Oh, there goes more fence. <laughs> no more fence for us. We'll just whittle them down slowly. I love doing the corners though, because they they get bugged out and they just usually don't go around the corner like that one did. I think it was too many, it pushed them, but normally they wouldn't do that. Somebody lunged. There we go. Nope, it got me again. That's crazy, man. That is crazy how far that thing goes. Now, the nice thing is when they start breaking the fence, though, we, we don't have to jump and use our stamina for that. Okay, that looks pretty good. We can jump the fence or sneak through the fence again. Oh, no, they're going to lunge. Oh, that was greedy. That was greedy. That was one too many strikes. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with the lunge. I'm, I'm not fine with the lunge teleporting through stuff to get you. That's that's where I have a problem with it. Because it's like things should be repeatable, right? So, like, if I take a swing and I'm in a certain distance to somebody, it should hit them 100% of the time. Even if you vary the damage, you vary all that stuff. But if I if I stand back right here and somebody clips to the, through you and, and their lunge misses... It should miss 100% of the time, but that's not the case with this game. It's like, 
maybe 90% of the time it misses, and then the other the other 10% they'll actually hit you for some weird reason. No, it's gonna go around. Yeah, it's gonna go around too. Alright, well we're we're having pretty good success though. We're at least getting kills. Yeah, getting lunged on right there is like a death sentence. Oh, and there was a gunshot, so we're probably gonna get swarmed here soon. Man, look at this fence. This fence is like a like a war zone. <laughs> oh, you're by yourself, you're gonna get stomped. Yeah, they're starting to path around the fence instead of going through it, so we might have to find a new place to fight these guys. Yeah, right here at this corner. Lunch, please. There we go. Yeah, I love how you can attack through the corner. We're gonna get... Oh, we should have died right there, probably. We got lucky. Yeah, we, we clipped through them for once. That's kind of nice. <laughs> okay, so we pretty much got that big horde done with just the, um, just the nightstick. Well, and the, obviously we, we burned through a big chunk of the fence, unfortunately. Uh, let's go sit on the, t the chair here so we can rest a little bit faster. There we go. Man, look at this place. <laughs> It, but this is going to be the whole town. Like, everywhere we go, it's going to be like this. <clears throat> That's pretty crazy. Alright, next house. Oh, you know what? We didn't even find our, our previous body. What happened there? I think I... Yeah, I didn't loot it for some reason. Probably go do that. Let's go find previous Billy. Where did I die? I died so many times I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. I think it was somewhere around here, though. No? Maybe not. I, I know the axe was right here. This? No, that's not it either. Hey, Jason Snow, how's it going? How does Zomboid stream? Yeah, it's uh, it's been a rough one, <laughs> to say the least. We've, uh, I, it, it's been good for practice, but not so good for surviving. I would say it get to about that day and a half to two day point and then just die. So, so that's kind of unfortunate. We'll get some water and we'll move on to the next spot. Yeah, I, one thing that I, that I have an issue with, if, if I know it's not going to be a long-term play, I, I start to get lazy and just doing stupid things. So sometimes it's not like the best way to practice, but it's okay. So let's practice one more spot. Let's see, where are all the zombies at, man? They're supposed to be like... Hundreds of thousands. Yeah, there's no fence here, so let's see how well we do with just melee attacks. Like I said, I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to work for this. 
There's just too many. We're going to run out of stamina before we get them down to a reasonable size. But at least we've got to try all, all options. Yeah, it just it takes forever. We already, we already burned through a decent amount of our stamina. So we'll, we'll, we'll ground hit. Oh, I walked into that one. Yeah, that was my bad. Maybe we can get a mix of like smacking them and shoving them and then fence fighting. Yeah, that actually seems not too bad. But like I said, we're gonna burn through these melee weapons, but it's not a big deal because we're gonna find a bunch, you know, hammers and wrenches and stuff like that. Oh, here's the body. Here we go. Okay, so here's Billy. Billy Mitchell's other body. Billy Mitchell 3.0, I think. I think this is 3.0. All right, we got our water bottles. Let's actually unpack that. the beta blockers for sure take all the food that we had the car keys and then we should probably smoke okay let's go clear out some more parts of the town and see how long we can keep this thing up for and the next time we when we do the legit run this will be kind of like a blueprint I, I might... Man, this this is so weird why there's so few. I'm wondering... Maybe I should load in and just let the game run for like two days and without showing myself and then seeing if they, if they do this as well. Because when you start the game, if you try and run out of town, you get chased by like literal thousands. And now it seems like they're not even... Like they're not even that many here. This seems like fairly easy to deal with. Change mind on weapon usage. Not really change the mind. I'm just more experimenting right now, seeing if if it's feasible to do it. Uh, obviously, against a big crowd, it's not going to work. But against a small enough crowd, it should work. Yeah, they're not lunging. Yeah, we're going to have the fence fight these guys. Oh, let's try it. Maybe we can get some decent hits in. It's kind of a waste of time. Here we go, here we go. Oh, dude, seriously, like, look at that. Five of them missed, and then that one guy hit. <laughs> like, they, I don't know, maybe they have longer arms. It's kind of weird. Oh, he actually got me on that one. Alright, lunge boys, lunge. Let's check out these stragglers so they don't join the group. Maybe not? Back to the fence. Yeah, they're breaking the fence too. Oh, you know what we need to eat because our... Yeah. We're getting a damage to... Oh, no, we're not. Come on, effects. Oh, yeah. 
you know, it'd be good. Is I would love to see if there's a mod that shows the the range of the lunge, so I can actually. Yeah, I did. <laughs> run, Billy, run. You can do it. Oh yeah, we got bit. That's fine. That's fine. I wasn't expecting much. It'd be it'd be really cool to see the actual range of the lunge in real time, so I can actually get like an intuition of what it's actually doing. So. All right, let's take as many with us. Run, Billy, run. I think. I think what we'll probably have to do is we'll, we'll have to set up different kill zones like this house. We'd, we'll have to use the windows. I, I really don't think this is a good idea because, I mean, these aren't even in big groups and I've, I've already died like four times. And imagine having to do this through the entire town 10,000 times. It's just not going to work. So I think what we'll have to do is just like just like the, uh, the fire department set up, blow out all the windows, open up all the doors. And set up a, a spot that's that's actually reasonable to to lure people, the zombies into. The fences are okay for small groups, but anything more than like three or four is probably not a good idea unless they're really separated by a lot by a lot of distance. Don't lunge on me, dude. There you go. Yeah, we actually we actually took it out took out the crowd. That was pretty good. How many we got? 71 kills in six hours. So 10 or more than 10 an hour is pretty good. Yeah, we'll let Billy bleed out here and he can get some rest. Did you pull them away with the shotgun at the start? Yeah, could mechanics where they cluster after a bit. Yeah, I think it's the horde mechanics where they cluster. It seems like they're really well spread out in the beginning. And then after some time they, they group in clusters. But I feel like the clusters are actually harder to deal with. Like if they were spread out evenly, you could just, you know, you could uh, bait one or two in at a time and then just deal with it that way. It's not that bad. Yeah, we're going to hit for peanuts, but if we get them on the floor, we can get some decent damage in. Yeah, I've got, at this point, I've got about... But not quite 500 hours into into uh, Project Zomboid, so I've I've definitely spent some decent time in this game. Oh, this is a death trap. This is really not ideal for survival. No, let me in. Get in there, Billy. Get in there. <laughs> you can do it. Wait, where is this guy? There he goes. All right, we're gonna let, make our last stand here. See how many we can take out. We die. Yeah, th this is the way to go. Just fighting through windows, I think. We got it's so much safer, and uses a lot less stamina. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. We can do a little peekaboo. Yeah, we, and then the thing that's nice about these is you could you could use the door. You could use the door technique. So that's a good way to to thin the herd. So that, yeah, see, it's it's like 10 times easier to deal with them like that. Oh, so we survived. We took out another, what, 20? Oh, not quite. Maybe like 12. So Billy's... <laughs> Billy's time is coming to an end here.
Yeah, I still, I don't think this is a good idea. You can get a couple, but man, it's so dangerous. It is so dangerous. Uh, maybe, you know what maybe what I need to do is just come in here and just practice this for like four or five hours and just do this, only this. And then figure out why some of them go far and some of them don't, and then I'll get in, I'll get better at it. It's, it's, I think it's a me, it's not the game, I think it's just me. It's just frustrating because, yeah, look at that. It, my perception is that they should all lunge about the same because they have, they all have the same model. There's no reason why one would lunge way farther than the others, but there's probably something more going on than I'm understanding. Poor Billy. He met a cheater's fate. Here, maybe we hide in the bush. Yeah, they still... <laughs> the lunge, man. The lunge. Yeah, and you can't... So frustrated. I, I feel like I feel like we did pretty good most of the day, but then there was the few times where the mistakes were made, they were bad mistakes. Like bad enough to end it, so. It is what it is. Alright. There we go. Now we can get a lunge. Yeah, we got one. <laughs> No offense for you. Oh, you got no help. Yeah, at least Billy doesn't go down without a fight, though, that's for sure. You know what I'm, I'm thinking about doing is getting some carpentry skill and just building squares, corners like this, because the AI really has a hard time with corners. I feel like it. I feel like it'd be pretty easy. Oh, we're injured enough where we can't sprint anymore, or we can't jog. Oh no, Billy! You got caught. Get one last hit. One last hit. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> Billy got it in our hearts forever. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well. All right, let's go check out how many runs we did. I think we have to add one or two to the list. So four deaths, and like I said, I think there was one or two, and then we re we reloaded this one at least three times, but that doesn't really count because I wasn't really trying that hard. But yeah, four, five, six. So we tried six times a day in about, what, four hours? That's not bad. We got up to 200 and something kills. So not bad, not bad. But anyways, yeah, I I wasn't expecting too much from this one. I'll have to I'll have to keep working on it. I, I I think what I need to do is offline. I need to work on the fence fighting. I feel very comfortable around the windows and kiting them in and out of the, the building, but the fences are where yeah, it's it's not good. It's not good at all. And then I still need to finish this campaign, man. This one is actually I can load it up. Let's see if it'll let me load in. This one, I've, I've got a, a decent amount of progress in. Yeah, six months, 11,000 kills. It's not too bad. And then skills are just about maxed out. All the important ones are maxed out anyways. There's a few that are going to be really grindy, but most of the big stuff's done, so... I oh, probably need to do some recording on that tonight, so... Alright, well, I think... Yeah, silly Billy. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for today. I was hoping to do a little bit longer, but I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over and keep dying in front of you guys. It's, it's probably not that interesting to watch, so... We'll work on a new challenge. I'm going to try and stream. I don't know if I can get every weekend, but I'm going to try and do maybe at least once per week. Get a good stream going. Uh, maybe the next one we'll do... Uh, I still need to do the Kingdom Come Deliverance Challenge, so maybe we'll we'll load that one up. So, but anyways, I appreciate everybody showing up. This was a fun one. I I'll get better, and then we'll 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 get it. I know right now it's impossible, but I think with more practice it won't be. So, but anyways, I appreciate it. 
And uh, that's it. Number of deaths. Billy died about seven, six times if you don't count the reloads uh, for, from the same map. If you count the reloads, probably about 10. <laughs> that was pretty bad. So anyways, you guys have a good day. I will catch you later.